We're very happy to have you back, even for a short visit. My mother told me to pick the very best one. And you are it. Anybody moves, anybody says anything, cut the boy's other eye out and feed it to his father, and then we'll start. You can breathe, you can blink, you can cry. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. Recorded to you live from the bottom of the Sarlacc pit, this is the Wicked Theory Podcast. <laughs> Great Kugamuga, can you hear me talking to you? We're back, and it's uh, I got I got people with me. I got uh, my buddy Tom's back. What's up? I'm back, oh, baby. I missed you. I got my brother Bob again. Hello, hello. Yeah, I see him all the time. But my buddy Mike. How you doing? My buddy Mike is hanging out with us, and I haven't seen my buddy Mike. It's been a like while. Has it been a, a while? long time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's almost like you don't live 12 blocks away, mm-hmm. but... Uh, it might even be less than 12 blocks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Might, <laughs> might. It, might, it might be like nine. Yeah. It's like nine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, me and Mike are way back. We grew up together. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Those were some wild times that uh, we don't have to document on... No, let's uh, not. You know what I mean? Stuff He's effectively not. your brother from another mother. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's Billy my was friend. my uh, best man in my wedding. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Shit! I didn't know yeah. that. I kind of, yeah. I kind of forgot. No, I didn't. Forget. Yeah, but uh, I, for- <laughs> <laughs> I forget <laughs> the speech I made. But <laughs> everybody <laughs> tells me it was good, <laughs> yeah, so that's all right. One. As long as people tell me what I said was good, I'm like, all right. You're probably all lying, but okay. <laughs> no, you it was know. a good one. Oh, cool, cool, cool. But um, yeah, so it's really good to have you here, man. I'm glad you came. Um, in a list of people that I've wanted to have on here. You really are one of them. I know it's probably like, yeah, Dick, but it's like episode fucking 48 yeah, or 49. Like or like, yes. You know, you waited a while. And I did wait a while for a lot of people, certain people. And you'll be seeing them on the show in the next phase as we go through 50 and 100. I was trying to space it out a little bit. Like, yeah, you know, it was yeah, just yeah. kind of one of these things where it was like, I don't know, I wanted to make sure the show was good when I had certain people on, certain friends on. And it was like, I didn't want to be... You know, all like, hey, how do I do this? And <laughs> I'm going to use my elbows to work the machine. Watch, you know. And so I'm glad to be here. So you're, you being here really does mean something. I don't want you to think, oh, this jerk off made me wait because I've been <laughs> listening to the show and enjoying the show. Yes, I have. And which, you know, thanks because, you know, maybe you just missed my voice, which I doubt because it's like sandpaper on a fucking chalkboard. But, nah. you know, it's... um. It's cool. It's cool that you listen a lot, man. And that uh, that means something to me. I am gonna try not to cry. <laughs> oh, you know, it's not a mushy show, but uh, it does mean a lot to me. But, um, but the thing is, Mike, as you should know, one of the things we do here with mm-hmm. first time guests, yeah, what is, is a quiz here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. yeah. 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 And I'm hoping that it all goes well for you. I'll so, see. <laughs> but I'll tell you, man, because we go way back, I yeah. rigged it more than I normally rig it. Okay. My plan was to go through He didn't all even the... rig it for his own brother. <laughs> no, well, that's on purpose. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's like Brothers, like, actually, because the two know? of them were in the show. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I really let I them guess. have it a little bit. And it, well, and it does depend on the brother. No, well, everybody gets the quiz built specifically for them, which is the great thing. So... So there's a couple of things to know about that with Mike. It's like my cheat usually for doing this is going to people's Facebook account and looking and at what I they don't like. Have one. Mike don't got a Facebook account, <laughs> so it's like mm, I gotta try to remember all the goofy shit we watched on TV, <laughs> hanging out of his house as kids, and um, so that's a bit of it. But also too, I was gonna go back through all the old quizzes and take all the number one questions, which okay. are the easiest questions because the test is supposed to be easy overall, but go from easiest to hardest. Hardest, okay. So. I didn't save all those quizzes, and I wasn't going to go back in and listen to old episodes. Yes. Because that's like torture for me. (laughs) So I do have a quiz, though, with a bunch of those questions. Some some questions that I think you should be able to answer a couple of these. Let's give it a go. All right, so um, I'm going to go, because I haven't done it in a while, I'm going to give this the official reading. Okay. Remember, remember, we used to. I used yep. to do this all the time. I remember. Mike, this quiz is designed to gauge your pop cultural awareness, general geekitude, and natural nerdiness. But 
Most of all, it's been designed with you in mind. While some questions are things you should probably know, others are here to see what you've acquired by osmosis. Your geekiness is not on trial. That's just a bit for another day. Here's how it works. There are 10 questions divided by into, me, into mesem, idiom, and hard. I might as well roll with it because that's what was going to yeah. try and come out of my mouth. Sounds and like some, science. It does. <laughs> Easium. Um, I think I had some of that once to fix my stomach. Um, and something called the super mega bonus points round. Uh-oh. But they're all gauged with what I perceive would be, uh, you know, based on your difficulty with the questions. I may award points, but fair warning, I'm bad at math. There's two rules. Take your time, but don't take all day. And the second rule is Bob and Dom can't help you because that's cheating, and I won't help you because I'm a jerk. But you also know that that rule is not that true. So, Mike, yeah, are yeah, you ready? Yeah. Fine. Let's After go. all that shit. Here's the first easy one, Mike. What was the boy's name in E.T.? His friend. This is a question that's been on the show fairly recently. Yeah. Uh, no pressure, Bob. <laughs> was it Mike? <laughs> I have no, no idea. No, but that would have been fucking really good. <laughs> I have no idea. Or maybe his brother, because there was a brother in it. I don't remember his name, but we were looking for Elliot. Elliot, yeah, see. Elliot. I'm, I'm bad at that kind of I stuff. I wouldn't know that one either. All right, most fair, fair enough. I figured it was a little generational, though. No, no. But, yeah. um, I've seen it a hundred times, the movie. Well, that's kind of what I was and once thinking. And once you said his name, I knew what it we was. like, damn, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. that kid. <laughs> that kid. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so how about this one? This is another one with a name. Uh, do you know who Iron Man is? Yeah. His real name? Oh, uh... I, I mean, and I, like, on a personal that. level, like, do you know who he is? Like, yeah, he comes over to the house on Tuesdays. No. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I just watched the movie the other day, too. Bob, again, please, no pressure. Yeah. Fair enough with that, though. Yeah, uh, All right, what's well, Tony Stark. Tony Stark. See, yeah. you knew that. Yeah. How about this one, Mike? Finish the phrase, transform our, trans, transformers, robots in... Out of space. I have no idea. <laughs> Transformers, <laughs> robots in disguise. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. I don't know so if I sang, sang it. it. Yeah. 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 It was the all beauty right. of my supple, yes. of my yes. supple voice. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, we're into the mediums, Mike. Uh, Supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> um, question number four is: um, In Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent, if I'm even saying that correctly, Maleficent. There you go. Turns into a what? Dragon. That is correct. Mm. I will. Let That's because I have two daughters. So I've seen go. that movie a hundred times. That was the plan. <laughs> I haven't that was, seen that movie, but I yes, it. that was kind of the plan. I, yes. I I figured that with some dads I know, that might be the easiest way to get yeah. them some points. Yeah, get me some um, points. There. There Thank you, you. I appreciate that. You can thank the kids for that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got me points on a show that you can't listen to, kids. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, who was the bad guy on the Smurfs? Gargamel. Good one. Nice. Grew up on the Smurfs. <laughs> yes, you did. Name three Jedi. Mm. We'll take anybody that might have gone from good to bad as well. Hint. Luke. Sure. Um. You could just start naming Yoda. Sp- there you go. You could just start naming yeah. Star Wars characters, basically. Uh, um. So far, so Dark good. Vader. Right? There you go. There you well, go. That's there it. Go. That's, there it. Right. that's he, the holy trinity. He was a dark Jedi, yeah. basically. Yeah? Okay. Started good. She all was right. Jedi, then you get all, right. all Sithy about it. Yeah. Um, all right, so now we're into the hard stuff. Man. Uh-oh. I heard you like it hard. Yeah, that's what she said. <clears throat> Can you name... Uh, ca- <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Can you name one male character from Frozen? One dude... Uh, Christoph, right? Was his name? I think so. I think yeah. It was. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Okay. I was hoping he would go with Olaf. Uh, Olaf too. Yeah, yeah. Olaf's the fucking shit. Yeah. Um, he's also a snowman. He's not. Well, yeah. he's I male. guess he's a male. He's You're male. right. Yeah. I, I guess. Went, uh, yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. Agent Palmer helped me with a little bit of this quiz, so we actually had that conversation where yeah. he's like, "Well, technically, I'm like, don't give me the fucking technically." All shit. right. He's male. Okay. There you go. He might be. He's a mailman. Um, <laughs> He's got, a, he's got a carrot to pee through. Let's see if you yeah. remember this one, Mike. Question number eight is, where does Indiana Jones get the Indiana from? Is he from Indiana? No, 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 no. no, no. I'll tell you this much, his dad says it. Yeah, I bet. <sighs> I, I won't even try on that one because I don't know. Okay, fair enough. They named the dog Indiana. No, see, remember? I didn't even know that. Sean no. Connery's, we named no. the dog Indiana. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. All right. Here's number nine, which is supposed to be like the hardest one. Okay. But I don't know. Name those um, those bogus-ass underwater Smurfs. 
Oh, the snorks? Yeah, that's right. I like the face you made. You yeah. said, well, yeah, the fucking snorks. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was more than I expected from you, Bob. Well, he's doing really well. So I, I know, I know, I know. I'm not even keeping track, but I'm going to say... You know, we got oh, to build him up a little. I mean, yeah. he's on a roll. Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely going into the Super Mega. I role. think yeah. so. Well, here's the last one. I mean, it doesn't really make matter any as long as he gets this one right in the that's end, right. right? All right, let's see. And it's a, it's a classic. A classic, all right. You've all heard right. it before. Okay. According to the owl... How many licks to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? One, two, three. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It. He <laughs> gets it. Yeah. He gets it. And because Bob did the grand finale sound already, mm-hmm. to do it again would just... <laughs> <laughs> be right there. There you go. All right. So, Mike, you know, this, this brings you to the prize round. Uh-oh. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know if I loaded the boxes. I, I think one's got something in it that okay. I know is already in there. <laughs> okay. It's a carryover from the last time we did it. Okay. And if I remember the guess correctly, that means this is a good prize. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to give it to you because fuck all that shit. Like that, that really? I didn't yeah. even get to pick. No, 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 no. Nice. No. Thank you very because much. Because why not? Well, won't and you just, o- now that you've given him that one, won't you just open the other box to make sure? No, this one's literally literally empty. This was. Oh, nothing rattling around yeah, inside. No. <laughs> so, uh, Mike got a t shirt. Nice. Mike got a t shirt, a Transformers t shirt. Oh, shit. From um, mm. uh, one T-Ferry of the questions he got correct. From one of the questions that he got correct. Awesome. It actually worked out. Um, Optimus Prime. It's an Optimus Prime logo. Like, it looks like a uh, auto company. It just says Prime's Auto Shop. <laughs> And now, you uh, too can be a robot in disguise. There, there you right? go. See that, Mike? Thank you very much. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. I hope when you wear it, you think of me. Yes. And that doesn't mean, like, you know, you Definitely. burn it or something like that. No. Right. Now, know, make sure you take a picture up. and put it on your Facebook. That's something I'd actually wear. Mike, Good. make sure you take a picture and put it on your Facebook. Yes, I will. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. As soon as I, I start one. Absolutely. Up. Sure. I'm sure it'll get lots of hits. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, since we got that out of the way, emails. Well, a little bit of official business, real quick. We're going to just plug that damn preacher podcast again getting psyched for it some we got we had a little bit of we had a little bit more of previews and stuff mm-hmm. this week and some news leaking out and some pictures and stuff so we're doing preacher versus preacher that's the other podcast we're doing and uh, it's going to start up the week the show launches um the week may of may 22nd. sunday may 22nd the um um the premiere the, the premiere <laughs> <preacher, laughs> i couldn't uh, think of the word the, the, right the pilot premiere yeah. um but I was trying. Uh, two thoughts came into my head at the same time. The fact that this weekend there's going to be like an extended first scene oh, yeah. or so something like we're that. We're recording on Saturday, but uh, you'll be listening to this on Monday. So at guys, the very least. yeah. So you guys so have already seen it, and you, you'll have already seen the season premiere of Fear the Walking Dead mm-hmm. on AMC, and uh, supposedly, um, probably somewhere during that, yeah, there's going to be um, a little sneak peek at uh, Preacher, sure. and there's going to be a quick scene. I don't know if it's going to be a new trailer, but no, it seems like they're pumping it as a scene, so they're probably going to give you like same thing to do with Walking Dead when they tease those mm-hmm. scenes, and it's like some thirty-second right, thing yeah. that you will barely be able to parse out into anything. Like, ooh, what was mm-hmm. that about? Yeah. That was creepy, I yeah. guess. Well, maybe it'll be where Jesse meets Genesis for the first time. That would be nice. Yeah, Phil uh, Collins. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, front row seats, dude. And I'll be like, tonight, tonight, tonight. It kind of was the era, wasn't it, when that came out? It was kind of close. Yeah, Phil Collins the, was live. Yeah. was probably large and in charge in the 90s to a yeah. degree. Yeah, the early 90s. He I was doing he was songs about... Around. Late 80s, early yeah, 90s. Yeah. Doing songs about homeless people. <laughs> um, You know. So, just want to give people a heads up for that. They can go check out that. If they've read Preacher, if they're reading Preacher, if they're into the show, they want to mm-hmm. give us a shot with that. It's going to be a companion show. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so, Mike, we did the quiz. It's great to have you right. aboard. We got the official business out of the way. And then, um, coming up later, we got to talk a little bit of Rogue One. Mm-hmm. Then we got some news stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, then we're going to talk, in the spoiler section, um, The Walking Dead. And mm-hmm. a little bit of uh, how we feel about Negan and all that. Right. Now that we've had a week to digest. To, to come down mm. and digest what we've seen right. and and stop trying to like self harm and uh, stuff like that about it. So, yeah, it's email time. And um, usually that means that we've got a few, which is always nice because uh, I mean, they're from the same people usually, but it seems like somebody's gotten a hold of our email finally and we're starting to get some junk mail in there nice. i'm gonna skip it for you because no, i know no, you don't need to read them <laughs> yes because i know you hate that but um it's probably gonna become a problem for me you, i mean we got a letter from a nigerian prince no billboard magazine mm-hmm. someone looks like maybe somebody actually put us on their mailing list so i'm getting those 
So thankfully, I can unsubscribe from at least that one. But anyway, Brian uh, Farrell actually sent us an email. Did he? Um, and it says, testing my shit. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Like <laughs> during work, during last okay. week, last week we were listening to the episode at work and he's like, oh, yeah, let me see if I, if I have that set up on my phone to send emails. Like, mm. cause you know, he's never really kind of sure about what the hell he's doing with his phone. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, um, I so send forgot him a, all about it <laughs> until so just now. Send him a response. Your shit works. Yes. Like shit. I will have to reply <laughs> from the show. It'll be the first reply out from the show. Uh, yeah, it's working. But it sounds like a Brian Farrell email. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, so that's <laughs> the best part about it is like it's got that auto reply on the bottom of right, sent right. from my iPhone. Right. right. So it's testing uh, my shit. I always I always forget to take that out. Yeah, yeah, testing my shit sent from my iPhone. Consider your shit tested. Very well, <laughs> very well go. too officially. You, you know, so uh, I'll let them know that was a success. Mm-hmm. Very good. So Ed's got a, uh, a an interesting email here, which is kind of topical. <clears throat> Um, maybe not. Um, would a movie which stars Christopher Walken and Nicolas Cage as the dad and son be watchable, or would it be used by foreign enemies to torture American POWs? <laughs> maybe a I'm bit curious of just to know what kind of movie the two of them would be in together. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head is mm. uh, Nick Cage trying to put his father in a nursing home. Sure. And his father's like thwarting him like uh, in Bob, home, that like sounds in home like alone. the most... <laughs> You can get any studio to take that. My God, or some that's kid a, movie. Well, that too. Like, right, it'd know, just be the reverse of Home Alone. It would be an old man instead. Yeah. Something like that. Because sure. he's doing that one now, uh, Walkins, when he becomes the cat. Isn't that him? Oh, he's doing some kids fucking? Yeah, when he becomes the cat. You didn't see the commercial for that? I guess not. Yeah. I guess not. No, yeah. no, no, no. Shit. I, I might have dodged it on purpose. He actually becomes a cat. Meow. Meow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> meow. I think it's him that does the voice. Me. Ow. Me. Ow. Look at me, I'm a kitten. Purr. All right, that's it. So um, then I got a little thing that's junk mail. All right, I'm sorry here, folks. I opened it all live. Um, and then another one from Ed because he sends multiples during the week. Um, gentlemen, which Star Wars aliens do you think would make ugly drunks? Which Star Wars aliens, because he kind of messed up the, the writing here. Which Star Wars aliens do you think would make very ugly drunks? Oh, I'm thinking the Mon Calamari all the way. All those arms? <laughs> Squid-like <laughs> tentacles swinging around, you know? Um, I bet you the Ewoks are real fucking pricks if you give them, like, whiskey or something. Really? Yeah. I bet you they turn yeah. a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? They're kind of like, like the under, that undersized Irish guy in Ameri- on, uh, was it American Dad? No, uh, Family Guy. Family Guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. The undersized. Want to fight about it? You want to fight about it? They all got Napoleon complex. They get drunk and belligerent. A lot of nut shots. <laughs> Busted up kneecaps. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So. Um, you ever wonder what one of those, what one of those things looks like shaved? <laughs> oh, it's probably. It's probably scary. Oh, it's probably real bad. scary. Like, 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 the, like that naked cat. cat. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, hairless, yeah hairless cat. Yeah, <laughs> 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 creepy. Little. Probably all anorexic underneath there. Why would you want an animal that looks sickly? Like I don't get it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so what is um? When you go to the it's movies, the idea of keeping them alive. <laughs> Here's another one from Ed. All right, he says, "Gentlemen, and this is this is deadly serious." He says, "What is your favorite non-popcorn movie snack?" So if you go into the movies, what are you gonna have besides popcorn, Dave? Uh, p- the little pretzels, Poutines? the little pretzels with uh, the cheese. The oh, sauce. that's actually turned into something mm. better than I thought it was gonna be. That is m- my favorite thing to get. That's the, the pretzel fave? bites. It's yeah. pretty fire, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Really I'm a really classic good. guy. I, I would think I would go with M and M's or. Uh, which I like one gummy is, bears. Which one too. is it with the? Mm. Which one is it with the, the <laughs> peanut in the middle? I'm not talking M and M's. It was a Goobers. Yes. Yes. yes Goobers. Yeah, yes. Right, right. Goobers. That's a classic one. That's a classic movie. Yes. I don't see goobers around enough. I'll say this. No, goobers. they're just in the movie theaters. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm I feel sitting like, with a, a few of them. Oh, hey, yeah. oh, hey, that's hey, very true. Easy. That's very true. Take it easy there, <laughs> Juju Fruit. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, fuck, that, this is coming from a guy wearing his grandmother's glasses. Oh, oh. <laughs> here we go. That's how it starts. Uh-oh. That's how it starts. <laughs> See, I knew Mike was going to bring it to the table, but Mike didn't, I didn't even, even start it. Mike didn't even I, start it. I didn't even start it. Mike was the one I was like, yeah, he's going to be busting my balls. I know he's that, and I'm not even getting it yet. Nice. All right, all right. All right. So, um, yeah, I got to take out some of this fucking junk mail. It's really throwing me off. I can't believe how many pieces we got. So, gentlemen, another one from Ed, because Ed sends a bunch. Which four superheroes were put together, would you put together, I guess, on a bowling team? 
Oh, speaking of bowling, someone's going bowling later. Yeah, Mike. Mike's taking a bowling. Yes, game. yes. Yeah, so okay. once a month league. So yeah, maybe. How do you uh, do? How how uh, what's your game, Mike? Uh, I mean, are you any good? Are you that good? No, I mean, I'm, I'm horrible. not. Uh, I'm horrible. Sorry. I don't get all gutter balls. My, do, yeah. you, do you have to That's keep the rails up? It was going to be my I question. I should. <laughs> I should. But, uh, you know, it's more It's more of a, it's know, a drinking league. There you go. There you go. You it's know, a, it's a once a go. month, get out of the house, get away from the kids. Start with, start with larger steins of beer. <laughs> yes. That builds up the risk. I would if my wife right? wasn't and there. And then you can bowl better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. There's a secret, but so, um, yeah. But I, I bowl on the one twenties. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Though. No, I mean, uh, I'm sure there's somebody on the team like. <sighs> well, my wife's family all you know like I professional know, bowlers. I know, all awesome <laughs> bowlers. It's, you know, it's rough. Yeah. I was I was tied into that yeah. situation there for a while. Yes. I knew about that very well. <laughs> so <laughs> the well, whole see, I think super, thing. Yeah. to get back to the question. Yes. yes. I, I yes, think please. I think Superman probably wouldn't be good to have on a team because that's like cheating. Well, it would, it, would, it, would be, right? well, it would be like cheating, but you wouldn't get very far in a game because the first time he got up there, he'd smash all the pins. Well, be, yeah, that place didn't even yeah. let him in anymore. Yeah, it was it just like, like the ball be... would smash through the pins, go through the back yeah. of the building, so he's you know, down the block, kill Anybody somebody. Anybody overpowered is probably out like that, right? Yeah. Because so, that's yeah. a fucking So we're cheat. talking basically one to twins with the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones who but got why? time. You got to think about the ones who have time to do the bowling. Oh, well, fair They don't have their... <laughs> <laughs> they don't get real assignments to go save the world. Right. So the Zan Jana and fucking Gleek or whatever. Yeah, Glimp, that was his name. Wow. Uh, no, Gleek is from the other oh. show. Right, Some right, other right. stupid sidekick name. But right. uh, Gleep. Maybe it was Gleep. Well, maybe they could be a bowling whatever team. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, they, the that's Herc- it. The, Her- uh, what they, what the, the Herculoids. Herculoids. <laughs> I'll take go. the Herculoids versus Although Fantastic they would be Four. aliens. They really wouldn't be. That's another one. They wouldn't yeah. be allowed in the place. Yeah, Fantastic Four might be a good option. Well. Without the thing, I think if you got Batman on the team, you know you're getting some serious strategy. Someone's taking it a little too serious. Yeah, but you might be getting someone who's going to cheat too and have something in the ball. Well, you know? if it's a Zack Snyder Superman, obviously he'll be a fucking cheater. He'll break all the rules. Probably. I'm going to get an it's, email for that. He used the kryptonite ball. <laughs> so that's it for Edward O'Hare. And then finally, he, uh, finally, Jesus, Ed. Mm. No, thank you, Ed, as always for the emails, and now. On to our other regular emailer, the one, the only, Agent Palmer. I don't know why I gave him a theme. I think it's like, I think I created a fucking monster with that shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. That'll be in a climber next week, just so everybody knows. 24 (laughs) seconds or so. All right. Um, he's, he, uh, this reads, uh, to the podcast theory of wicked stuff. I think that was supposed to be I barely got through show. that. I'll just, I'll leave that alone. I barely got through that. That's not our show. That's someone else. Yeah, true. We don't talk about wicked stuff. Yeah. We don't do anything. We're the wicked theory show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just thinking about it. Yeah, like, yeah we're, um, we're theorizing. Technically, it's all about bad ideas. Quite wickedly, too. So, with episode, um, V2, 7, 8, 12. Mm. Um, now invading homes across the world in Rogue One's teaser trailer, it appears that Star Wars has taken some steam from Civil War. Civil War. I can't even fucking talk. Right, to right, 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 right. <sighs> okay, from Jeez. Civil War's world domination plans, um, it's taken some steam from it. So that's like good news for Disney, who owns everything, right? Yeah, that's a fair point. So now let's see how smart you guys truly are. You guys and your flash knowledge should be able to tackle this conundrum. If a jogger runs at the speed of sound, can he still hear his iPod? Mm. Well, he's running at the speed of sound, so next pro- yes, I, not he's next, not running I'll, beyond I'll, the speed of sound. I'll run with that, Bob. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, right. That's pretty much it, right? right. If he I mean, breaks if the speed right. of sound, that's good enough for me. Right, yeah. If, the, if hypothetically the speed of sound is 600 miles an hour and he's yeah. running at 600 miles an hour, he should still be able to hear it. Yeah. Right. If he's running at 601, well, he's you know he's probably <laughs> going to be hearing as it's like like a when, little bit of a delay. Like when a car ro- goes down the highway and as you you can hear their radio, it like sounds like it's going far away. Yeah, he'll probably get like, like something. Yeah. Yeah. Or his eardrums will just yeah. But any faster than that, you're done. <laughs> you know, you're just not hearing. It's shit. It's probably in the. Um, iPod terms and conditions. Um, maybe, maybe if you go too fast, you hear it backwards. Oh shit, Bob! Mm-hmm. That's where all the Satan. That's where or, the or it's being goes. rewound. <laughs> it's going in reverse. It's just going. Reverse. Um, all right. Next is to test your art knowledge. What is a picture of a thousand words worth? If a picture is worth a thousand words, mm-hmm. then it's worth the price of one picture. 
There you go. Fucking Peter Piper picked a peckle. Right. Um, good answers. Right. Good answer, Bob. Jesus Christ. You're making, you're fucking working up to your pay grade today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't pay me anything. That's so. my point. <laughs> now we got you to zero finally. So, um, yeah, but if you don't pay me anything, I could, I don't know. It was, you, were working same at, thing. You, you were working at a deficit is what I was kind of saying. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh. But I, that's it was sarcasm. It was all, all right. sarcasm. I want to just work the show and stop paying rent. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let's we'll not get into all that. So, um, and lastly, to Dominic, the season is young. But how are you feeling about your Mets and their chances of bringing home another pennant? Is that the that's the full question? That's the full question. Hmm. Um, I'm really. Uh, you went to a game yesterday, right? I did go to the uh, the home opening opener. day on uh, on Friday. And they. Uh, one thirty. They won it for you. They didn't win. They, they were won, like, "Oh shit, Dom's big. here." They won seven to two with his pops. We got to fucking win this one for them. Yeah, and they came through. Yeah, it was a good game. Nice. It's always good to, um, you know, see your team score a bunch of runs. So. It's nice. Yeah, see those guys earn the check. Yeah, but uh, about the it's, season, it's too early to say that. Obviously, I'm superstitious, so and I don't want to jinx a long it. Obviously, season, right? Yeah, it's long very long shit. season. Long as shit. Yes. Um, Longest in sports, they should be. Right? They should make the playoffs. I don't know if they're gonna make if they're gonna win the pennant again though. So Does anybody I'll say want to? Uh, do other male figures want to do sports talk for a second? Anybody got anything to say? Well, I think they could go somewhere. Yeah. I'm not a Met mm-hmm. fan. Uh, I'm right, a Yankee right. fan. But they got a decent lineup but, this year. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing right. as last year. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they did know, well last the year. Most part. They got. I think. Uh, I think they added. I think they added uh, a little bit of an upgrade. I'm not exactly sure yeah. who I forget, but I remember a couple of things happening. That were a big deal. They could definitely make the so, playoffs. Mm, yeah, yeah. They, they shouldn't make the playoffs, yeah. but uh, it's, they're, it's they're contenders now. Yeah, yeah. Then you know, they've done it the right way. I think they've done it through the farm system because they didn't have any money. Yeah, yeah. You know, so farms. Right. It's all about building the team from the farm system fuck if you're going to maintain farms. success. Enough of that. It's baseball slavery. I just want you to fucking know what that is. Anyway. But yeah, they make over hundred grand a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair yeah. enough. Exactly. All right, maybe not. Maybe I was off. <laughs> a lot more. And they only play like. What, 50 games this season? Well, then, there you go. So uh, he says, that's it. Just remote directing from uh, this section of the podcast. Bill, you can now take the floor back from the sports and move on. Uh, Palmer out. So, Palmer, thanks Thank for you, Palmer. Um, thanks for thinking of me. being a fucking that. douche and just directing the show from the email. And that's like um, the longest we've ever talked about sports. Well, you guys. Yeah, I don't think I've really heard you talk too much sports on this show. No, no. I'm Maybe once or twice heard a little something. Yeah, well, you were here, yeah. and I was like, yeah. Mike's into sports. He's not yeah. a Mets fan per se, but no, you but know. Yeah, I there like you go. sports. A bit I like baseball. Big Jets fan. Big Jets fan. Big Jets fan. Big Jets fan. Big Big Jets fan. Yeah. So yeah. much Jets fanery going yeah. on in that Todd house Bowles that did I good job last season. Yeah. yeah. That I got caught up. Berkshire Ferguson fever. just uh, retired. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Friday. Oh shit. Gonna hurt us. It's gonna hurt us. Is it? Oh yeah. Okay. That's not good. I. I'll, I take you, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I know well, you're not long, a sports As long guy. as the front office does their job right for a change, then the, the with this coach, they should be all right in the long run. We'll see. Just sign Fitzpatrick. Yeah. That's I just, all. Mm-hmm. You know, That's love. Mm-hmm. Let's let you guys talk about your thing as if you own it. Yeah, there you go. All yeah. you, Bill. That's back it, yeah. back we, to you, Bill. Yeah, no, I, think no, no, we, that's fine. I think we were actually done at that point, Bill. No, I know. <laughs> just fucking around. That's just one of the things I always And you brought it up. Yeah. Absolutely, I don't know. So I'm you, not giving you it. Know what, Mike, I'm you not talk some more. I'm not giving. <laughs> no, I'm picking on it for different reason. I'm not make, I'm not I giving it shit because it, I, it came up. I'm giving it because I always pick on sports with being sports fans with being a little bit like possessive, where it's like it's just a verbiage. Everybody I, uh, I, know, like, I understand. Oh, you know, it's I we understand. got. I got the team this yes, year. Like, yes. you know, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize you were made manager, but uh, that's cool. You I, know what I, mean? I wish. I didn't know you wish. ran the fucking franchise. Do a lot of a lot of things different. Well, that's, <laughs> I've never heard a sports fan not say that. If The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones were playing in a baseball game, wow! Then Bill would have ownership over. over I one, would be like, yes. first of all, this jerk off's not going to beat that jerk off. Exactly. exactly. All right, you don't put up Tyrion first. All right. Maybe not a baseball game, but maybe like in like a duel, like well, a, some kind a bunch of, of duels. Just if like it was a fucking if, royal. If was, well, first of all, if you're going to match them up, you can only put them basically in a Roman Coliseum because they're all animals. Right. You got to use, shows. and you got to make sure you got to use Dinklage as a DH. <laughs> well, because yeah, at least know, on some, you got to put him in there for you know. To change things up a little well, bit, uh, throw the pitching off. There you go. Yeah, well, he's that's, got some fucking strikes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Just... You can't put him up first. You got to put him up in the middle of the rotation, right? Well, yeah. Oh, well, probably last. 
Well, probably last. He can't, he can't run too fast. <laughs> you I'm can't thinking, run too I'm fast. Thinking, so I'm we got to have somebody on base, right? I'm thinking 90 feet to first is a little rough for my man Tyrion. All right, that's uh, the most I can hold up on baseball midget. talk. I'm going to start sounding like <laughs> I'm making it up after that. <laughs> the fact that I knew any of that for a second. Um, but all right, cool, awesome. Uh, thanks for the emails from everybody. Um, it was only uh, two guys this week, but we'll take it. But we'll good take enough. it. It was good enough. Yeah, so thanks, cool. Steph. Otherwise, <laughs> oh, Bob. Don't I'm teasing. I'm teasing. She's probably going to send one in like in the no, next She's probably minutes. busy reading Preacher, right? Well, I'm, I would hope so. I would hope so. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I know she's I know been she's buying been books, right? She's been reading it. Yeah, uh, she's very high in the books. She's, she's buying them. She's buying pretty them excited. Up. And the Preach First Preach account is actually getting a little bit of, I don't know about traction, but um, yeah, just, I'm getting a couple of new follows every day, so that's right. pretty cool. People are looking at, you know, it's, it's coming up soon, so now, yeah, as now long people as I, are starting to look for it. As long as I stay active with it, you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's, it's a little bit of a thing to get used to, balancing two Twitter accounts. Right, right. yeah, you have to get a new routine going. <laughs> yeah, even if I'm using TweetDeck, which helps to do that, it still can be, uh, you know, I got to kind of monitor it a little bit. But hey, what, uh, what am I crying about, right? It's not like a bitch. Mm. It's not like a bitch. Yeah, things are going good. Jeez, it's Jesus so rough. fucking, it's hard. It's All right, so complain about. Oh, uh, so people, if you want to send emails, you can send them to us here at podcast at wickedtheory.com. Podcast because it's a podcast. I mean, I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. And then um, we're gonna go into the meanwhile section here. Meanwhile, I guess in there we'll do some Rogue One talk. Um, yeah, so that came out awesome. I mean, I really liked it. Um, first impressions were kind of like, all right, cool. Like finally, like new characters that um, look and feel a little different than maybe the characters that we just saw because they felt mm-hmm. like the same right. as the kind of type of characters we were always getting mm-hmm. a little bit. Like yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this looks like some. These are like maybe a little bit more badass types. You know what I mean? A little darker, mm-hmm. a little more edge. I don't know if that. If I should take that to heart because it's the trailer and like who knows what with a trailer they like they they'll pull a hoodwink on you all the fucking time. Right. What you uh, what you think? I thought it was okay. You thought it was okay? Yeah. Past uh, mm-hmm. muster? Yeah. 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 All right. Not, not too much to say though. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, you know what it is too, it's a thing where it's like my issue with it a little bit was that it was like a it's a I was talking about this before with you guys. It was like it's a teaser. They call it a teaser, but it's a minute and a half. So I guess the fact that it's a teaser is because they don't really give you mm-hmm. any clear run on it. Because it used to feel like a teaser was just like a 10 yeah. second, 30 second thing. Right. Right. But now a teaser just means we don't, we'll just give you a whole bunch of quick scenes and you don't get and the fucking see story. nothing really. You get yeah. no okay. story. Right. You get no idea what's going right. on. A right. minute and a half of I mean, nothing. Let it be that. Because remember when we no, were yeah, younger, fine. when we all of a sudden were getting these commercials that gave away everything? Everything, yeah. yeah. Like right. you didn't and have to see the movie. Yeah, and you were all pissed off mm-hmm. about the yes. commercial. Yeah, yeah, when you go, when you spent your money, yeah, and you didn't get anything new. Well, fair enough, because even you with know? the last Star Wars movie, it was like so, as much as I saw those commercials, all I know was like basically it was about uh, they gave, yeah. one of those kids or one of those three new. Yeah, characters. really, they, and they, they I wasn't just sure basically, if it was yeah. about the girl really. Yeah. You know? They basically just showed you the characters. Yeah, and shows uh, a few cool scenes. Yeah, a few cool scenes. Didn't tell you what was going on in any of those scenes or why those scenes were the way they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think they're following suit with that. I yeah. think people like if anybody's giving it a hard time. It's just. Uh, it's actually good. You're yeah, right. Yeah. This yeah. way, you know, you go see the movie, you know, that they, they didn't ruin anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they didn't give it away at least. You, yeah. know, you yeah. can go and clean and make yeah. it. Your own it might. It might actually be a positive thing from the backlash of their everybody looking for any little thing that they yeah. can find in any little trailer. Well, that's a thing too. We're in you this. Know? So now maybe maybe we're gonna get back to not really knowing what the hell's going on when we go to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, being surprised. Yeah. Well, that's the thing too. We're in this world of fandom. Like, how do studios? How are they ever going to have anything that no one's like? Everything just feels like it's picked apart so much that it's like it's like for us more maybe because we follow a lot of this shit more. But, yeah, but it feels like everybody just dissects everything to the point where it's like I don't know if I yeah. uh, soon it's going to feel like maybe we can't enjoy movies anymore because everyone's got to tear right. everything down and ruin so, it. Uh, yeah, you know, well, and, and, so like in in the area of comic book movies, I think that for, that's sure. fair enough. It's going to be there. It's, it's the nature of the those people. Fans, yeah, yeah, those fans. And you knew it coming in. I think sure. if you're talking about like a show, a movie like Fast and Furious, something like that, and they're doing that kind of stuff, yeah. then it's like, all right, now you guys are getting like out of control. <laughs> fair, uh, fair. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I it's feel like... like all right, if you're going back yeah. so far, to the, all the way back to the first movie 20 years ago and, and going, wait, they just said something that referenced that movie right, but is right, incorrect right, right. because it is... But, you know what? Then I'm saying you need 
of life. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I uh, think I think so, certain. So basically, what you're saying is basically like certain franchises have kind of like they, they, they seem built for it, right? They built right. for it, or they've quote unquote in a way earned it yeah. in a sense. Where it's fa- like, yeah, you've got Star fans Wars from another medium. You know, like I, I'll, I'll take that. Or in a, in a history, sci-fi tends you know? to be like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a general way, mm-hmm. same as superhero stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, I was I wasn't really that impressed. You know what I mean? Right. Like I saw so many people on. On Twitter and Facebook and everything going crazy like oh this looks fucking awesome, this looks like it's fucking the the, Mex- the best. No, I thing think ever. It's, I think it looks like it's gonna be good. Yeah, but I think we don't know anything else. Yeah, yeah. Well, I never <laughs> said. I mean, you know, I, I never said I wasn't gonna be good, but mm-hmm. like I just wasn't. Right. I was. I was kind of not that I was expecting more, but I was. They've they've said that Vader was gonna be in the movie. Right. Um, so I was kind of anticipating them to throw him in that first trailer well, to, 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 make, yeah. to make some people be like, oh, shit. Right, right, right. This right, is right. like legit. Vader They're saving him, I guess, a little bit. Unle- oh, unless they were just, you know, fucking with people. Um, but when's that come out? Uh, s- December 16th. December. Yeah, Definitely so. December. I think it's the 16th. Yeah, uh-huh. they're going to they're gonna milk that. It's like the same bit. week or like weekend that The Force Awakens came out just mm-hmm. this year as opposed to. Last but year. I was surprised too that we didn't even see like uh, Mads Michelson is in it. Right. Too. Like, there was he's, no. He's playing the villain. They just kept it straight to mm. let's just introduce this main mm. character here and give you a shot of Forrest Whitaker and basically mm. some football equipment, I think. Right. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he was wearing. I was like, like yeah. shoulder pads. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, you just ran out of Mad Max or something, yeah. I think. I'm not like, coach, take it easy. You don't have to put on the equipment. You're not on the team, coach. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I saw a few um, theories online that okay. uh, maybe that um, female character mm-hmm. that seems to be the main character sure. of the movie. That she might be Ray's mother. Oh, uh, okay. So all right. So maybe there's right. uh, some grander plot building going on here, yeah. which would be which would I'd be have, which I would love because yeah. you know right. it she, it really you know meshes both universes. together. I think definitely. you got to keep yeah. it tied. Somewhere. Well, yeah, maybe she's Princess Leia's daughter. Maybe she's coming from the other side. We don't know. She become you know I mean they could be from anywhere in the lineage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean that's fair. Or Star Wars, too. yeah, yeah. Luke, or Luke or some shit. You know what but I mean? in the timeline, but it seemed to me though this at the end, movie is. During Luke and Leia's era that we watched, she, these, yeah. this, this movie's about um, stealing the plans for the Death Star. Oh, okay, that's right. That's so, right. so that. that's why they show the big dish being right. inserted. Right, like, right. So obviously, okay. so yes. then, all right, it's so probably then unlikely. Have, yeah, yeah, that wouldn't work. But that wouldn't be right. I mm. think what I caught from the end of the trailer was um, that she might be ending, like, ending up turning to the dark side. That that girl. Yeah, yeah. It seems like she's gonna. Because kind of, you know, far as uh, Whitaker's character was kind of like warning her about yeah. something, what, or you know, what are you gonna do if they catch you? Yeah. You what do become exactly? <laughs> What's word for word? What the pause? Exactly. But um, yeah, that would actually kind of be cool because it gives her because she seems to be a character who's coming into it with some kind of edge, or she's a rebel. Mm. You know, what I mean, she's obviously. You know, got some kind of badass nature about her. And that's what it's kind of supposed to be. Like, one of the ways this was pitched was like, oh, it's kind of like a Dirty Dozen thing where, like, their ragtag team picked to go in and yeah, like get these plans and then come back out with them. So, like, you know, there it goes. I'll give it this. There's some scenes I feel like it was made in the 70s, too. There's some. Well, yeah, that's one of the best things about the trailer. It like, did if look there, that way. If, yeah. Right? If there yeah. was anything that was, like, really, really amazing about the trailer, it was, like, to see when... I'm, I mean, I love Star Wars, but I'm not up on like all the fucking the terminology. The like some people, that? so whatever that big s- ship is, like that's that. Um, uh, with the walker at the end, the at at. No, no, not the at at, but the, oh, the big the spaceship. the imperial cruiser. Yeah, I think exactly. Is, okay, yeah. So when you see that thing? come past, and then it, and then like it goes into the Death Star, right, that right, looked right. like it was fucking vintage, like from the seventies. Yeah, 70s, that's why. But I felt with, like with hell things. of a lot better. Mm-hmm. Technology, technology now. and yeah. CGI, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. because it was made in 2015. And it was I saw a thing. Paul, I didn't actually see it. Palmer was telling me about it. <sighs> Not to give him another fucking credit, but you know, um, he was saying that uh, Wired magazine because they'll break down science on shit. That already they had a thing about how like in space that dish moving into place at the speed it's going, actually in space, mm. in true space, wouldn't stop. Like the planet, like you know, it would basically knock that whole planet Probably. out of its fucking orbit <laughs> because. You know the way space actually works and stuff like that. The speed that it's moving at in space is some like hugely ridiculous number. Like you know what I mean? So it's like um, doesn't surprise me. The nerds of science have actually added on the nerds of pop culture when it comes to those some of those articles. It's like Jesus Christ! It's like nerdy on top of nerdy. It's really, like, yeah, it's, but, uh, it's too, extreme. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's like nerds killing nerds. Man. <laughs> it really is. It's like, do you have hopes like, and dreams? Yeah. Really, I will crush them. <laughs> this is what. Dude, what you did to me in the schoolyard. 
So, um, if nobody else has got anything for meanwhile, I just wanted to mention real quick, Grant, our buddy Grant, has uh, from Seven Days a Geek, had reminded me that on Netflix is this movie called He Never Died, with Henry Rollins in it. And uh, I did see uh, a little piece of that. It's uh, actually, if you were intrigued by it at all, check uh, it out. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually, it did look pretty good. It's funny. It's, uh, you know... I don't know how to give it away, really, without giving it away, but uh, he plays a rough, grumbly, mumbly, kind of uh, sour kind of dude who's got some kind of murky the history. The only guy he knows how to play. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. he plays it so good, and uh, it also it almost comes off at the beginning like, oh, maybe this guy's got, like, Asperger's or something, like, because the way he just, like, flat answers and stuff like that. Is it like, you're trying to read at first, it's like, is this because he can't act, or is this like he's acting really well like some, <laughs> yeah, some, some guy with like a weird affect like you know what I mean but it turns out he was actually pulling it off pretty good they, they could have cast it better cool. but it was a really cool movie the ending may not be for everybody but um, it's got some good twists and turns and some really funny moments it's a dark kind of comedy horror thing but um, he never died on Netflix now I think people really gotta go check it out yeah he was at Henry Rollins um, was actually my pick for Negan Sure. Um, if they were going to pick anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, well, actually, Charlie Adler, the guy who draws The Walking Dead. Right. That's, he came out and said that that is that was who always... he modeled the character Negan after okay. in, in, in appearance anyways. And I'm sure the way he acts, because I could see Henry Rollins pulling that shit off. It's basically yeah. just walking around like a fucking big douchebag. Yeah, And yeah, just yeah. telling people to go fuck themselves. Henry like Rollins in his, in his heyday, in his prime, in his, mm. in his punk rock years. Yeah, actually, more more yeah. than now, but back right. then, sure. I actually would have made a pretty good Jesse Custer, too. Maybe you know in his prime he definitely he's had a look now. that would have worked that would have yeah, worked. Yeah, now he's you know he's obviously you yeah, know pushing fifty. Now he's uh, like, probably you know, pushing more than that. He'd yeah, be playing, he'd be playing, he's a little older than that. Looking like right. close to yeah, Jesse's in, dad or he grandpa. He was in uh, Sons of Anarchy for a little bit. I think yes. yeah. he played yeah. a uh, neo-Nazi. Yes, yeah. I remember. Great. He was really good in that. Yeah, he was. He's been. A, he, he doesn't act enough, but when he does, he's usually yeah. plays. At he least plays a good nut job. Plays yeah. a good nut job. And I don't think he has to do much. To yeah, do, uh, no. to do that. No, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he is a nut job. <laughs> yeah, somehow he manages to tap right into that. It's kind of strange, um, but uh, that's all I got for the meanwhile section. Unless Dom wants to talk about uh, something, I don't know. <laughs> nothing yeah. Mike nothing. Nah, You know I, the segment you know, yeah. I got nothing I got nothing um, So we got news So we got news It's uh, news o'clock And um, we got a jingle And it goes Jingle the Jagger Woohoo That's the news jingle It's a sports center news jingle That's our That's, that's our, our heavy, Two copyrights metal, uh, yeah. Violated at once Yes but. Yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah I think we're okay I think we got yeah. enough We're with, within eight bars a piece I Yeah think. that and <laughs> the whole parody thing yeah. And our uh, intro yeah. yeah sure We're covered yeah. um, None of us made it up it, we, have, we have no responsibility for it Yeah sure That's not on <laughs> mic at all in Two episodes Three episodes back Um <laughs> So I just wanted to go over a couple of things in the comic books um, because, uh, you know, although we don't really get to it too much lately, we, me and Dom are still reading comics, still checking out comics and shit. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, but it just feels like sometimes it's like, uh, it takes over an episode, like, because we could just go on forever about it. So we probably should do like a something soon where yeah. we just kind of touch base again with what we're reading and stuff but anyway in the news uh, I just want to point this out to people there's a cool crossover I mean I don't know how cool it'll end up being but it seemed interesting to me Aliens Judge Dredd and Predator Predator um, mm. they're doing some kind of crossover Triple book crossover. I don't know if it's really going to be any good but I saw Glenn Fabry did this cover painting of it nice. and it was just because Glenn Fabry you know loved that guy that's but, cool I mean I, I'm not really into any of these three uh these no, I things. hear you. And so I probably won't be checking it out. Yeah, I don't blame you. But I, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that'll be that'll be digging it. I will probably thumb through it. You know what I mean? At the stand and be like, mm, hem and haw. And at then, the stand. At the stand. At the ye olde comic book stand, like they used to have back in the days. Yeah. On the spinner rack. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, and then um, DC has kind of revealed the new creative team on Batman, and I just want to go on to say I'm like a little sad about that. But I uh, I'm, I got to click on the link here. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Tom King. Yeah. Who's a DC favorite these days? Tom King is good. I'm actually reading a couple of his books. He's pretty solid. But nice. uh, David Finch. David Finch. Yeah, he's he's top. Michael Janin. Janin. Never heard of either of them. Well, um, David Finch is uh, the guy who was doing. 
a Wonder Woman. Did a run with Wonder Woman with his wife actually. Okay. Uh, they were writing an art team on that book, but yeah, he's got a certain kind of real gritty style that it'll be a nice fit for Batman. I'm not saying it's not, but it's just like you know we were really in love with that mm. old Snyder and Capullo team. Yeah, and I guess I'm looking at the uh, artwork here on on IGN, and it looks like that um, new Capullo bat suit is like gonna stick. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. like three there's like three books here that they're showing with Batman in it. Um, Detective Comics, All Star Batman, and Batman, and he's all wearing that suit. Mm. So. And not a whole hell of a lot different with that suit. It's just like I don't know. It's just it's, it's like the bat logo. It's a little, a little different. It's just not. the bat logo is outlined in yellow. Yeah, yeah. A thin outline. It's around. a it's a refresh. Yeah, it, I like it a lot. I'm I'm not complaining, but I'm yeah. I, I'm sure some people are gonna fucking cry about it because they're just yeah. such no, you know, purists. That, you know the fanboys what is that, cry Adidas fucking just shirt? so fanboys yeah. can cry. Basically. Yeah, well that's that's always the way. Someone's always exactly. not gonna like. Yeah, the new there's thing. always gonna be someone who's not happy, and mm. it doesn't matter. They don't. They don't. Even People don't like change. I, I love how. Yep. I love yeah. how it's DC takes Scott Snyder off of. Batman it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. And then he writes Detective Comics and All Star Batman. And then it said they put him on two other Batman books. That's the. That's the. They take him off the Detective one book Comics. that's called Batman because yeah. they put out a bunch of Batman books uh-huh. every month. Yeah. So they'll have multiple titles. Marvel does it too with Spider Man. Like you know, there'll be five. It'll be spectacular Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man, Web of Spider Man, Spider Man. Spider Man does this laundry. You know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> yeah, it's too yeah. many. It's like ridiculous. Uh-huh. So you can have kind of like different creative teams on it and get kind of different storylines going. And yeah. stuff. Usually, usually the main book is the only one that's really worth checking Following. out. It's so the one I that think, they put the I best think DC's, team on. Like the way they're looking at it with this. Is they kind of got greedy a little bit, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Oh, people will pick up our Batman title regardless if Scott Snyder, one of the most famous comic writers right now, for them, yeah, yeah isn't yeah. writing it. Sure. So if we put Tom King on it, who's a little less known, right? People will still pick it up because it's Batman. Yeah. So if we throw Scott Snyder, a well-known writer, mm-hmm. on these two other books that mm-hmm. necessarily don't have the exact same sales of the main book, right? Exactly. Well, well that's yeah. the whole. We'll is be that, able to that... sell those books more than, yeah, the, the, which yeah. is kind of almost seems counterintuitive because it's like. You're telling me this guy built up this thing and you're going to take him away to go bolster up these two other things and you I mean, think people are going to stay over here? Right. Like, wouldn't they just follow him over to there? Exa- yeah. And I mean, then I, this I, thing yeah, exactly. drops, this thing plummets. Exactly. You know I mean, I, mean? I know. So, I mean, I don't want to get too into it. I'm doing it, a lot of hand motions here for the people yeah, at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get too into it, but I know yeah. a lot of people like you and mm-hmm. other people who are really into comics who have been reading comics for 30, 40 years that... <laughs> yes. At least, right? That say fucking... At least 30 years. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shut up! That say... Uh, 30, you know, 32 years. That say that the Scott Snyder runs on, bat, bat, on Batman. On, on Batman. Ba- on, the Batman. I'm Batman. 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 <laughs> on Batman are the best they've ever read. Yeah. Some people. Yeah. Fucking Kevin Smith will like he's got blow a constant, Snyder out of the building. He's got a constant chubby for that shit. And I, I mean, yeah. not that I've read a whole lot of Batman, other than but they Scott are really, run, but they're, they're amazing. It's a really good run. So I, just I mean, I can only imagine the only Batman main titles that have yeah. rivaled that is the shit from uh, Frank Miller. Yeah, so. I think it's just you know what too, man. I think the big thing is Capullo's art too. You know, Capullo is a fucking sick artist. He's gonna leave for a little while. He's gonna go do um, a project with Millar over at Image, mm. some kind of probably six issue thing that'll be amazing. It's and actually, then come back. it's like started filming already. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. It's like oh, Mark Millar is just cash cow. Damn, we've yeah. spoke about uh, yeah. spoke we've spoke we've about spoke him about. before. All right, moving on. Moving on in um, TV stuff, but still kind of comic book stuff. Still, Cloak and Dagger has been picked up by uh, Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. With um, just to clarify, um, has been picked up by ABC Family, now known as Freeform Network. So yeah, they changed that whole uh, thing. Oh uh, yeah, they're, they're rebranding it. Yeah. Because, um, to have it called a family a network, everybody kind of just doesn't even bother with it. Yep. But that's still the same exact layer of quality they're going to have, though. I don't well, see it changing. So well, this might be able to change that. So it's it's been at ABC mm-hmm. for a little for a little while, and I guess they were going to try and spin it out of Sh- of Shield. Okay, probably but, uh, yeah, at some point. But I guess it just didn't work out. So then it went over to ABC Family for a while, and then it kind of fucking gestated there and, and now I, I guess now so that it's free form they're trying to just help it know. with their own rebranding I yeah. think of that network so I, don't, I mean I don't like, even know oh, trying to build it up a little yeah yeah make it look a little more edgy edgy yeah I think it's the plan is that it's a f- it seems to be female centric kind of a network um, even though it's family 
Um, like most of the shows are just all about it's a girl main character. I don't yeah. see anything wrong with that. Just saying that's what the uh, the network seems to be aiming for. I have two little girls; they watch it. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. all um, you know, young adult novels uh, turned into TV shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this kind of fits in there. The sad thing is that Cloak and Dagger just really weren't uh, a pair at, at in Marvel to really kind of ever get like a good title. Um, that ran for a long time or anything, uh, almost like Doctor Strange. I Strange's. couldn't tell you anything about them. Yeah, so, so. they're a young um, set of teenagers. Um, she's white, he's black, just to say, and um, inner city kids. And in the comics, I believe originally what happens is that they get kidnapped and experimented on, or they're forced injected with some kind of fucked up drugs. And I don't mean like medical drugs, like druggy drugs. Like, they're looking you know pretty I mean? magical in this picture. So right what happens is because it's experimental, yeah, I think at one point, they might have retconned this and changed it, but I believe it activated their latent mutant powers mm-hmm. um, originally when the books came out. So I think, think like they might have been Deadpool. mutants, but they kind of changed that back because I think they kind of washed out the illicit drug thing out of it. It might just be experiments kind of yeah. wrong. But well, That's kind of what happens to Deadpool in the movie. Fair enough. Um, so in this, she emits like these daggers of hard light. They glow and they're concussive, you know, not explosive. And he but wears a cloak. And he's got a cloak that is like basically um, it's alive, your worst. Right? Yeah, it's alive to a degree. And it's like your worst dreams as a kid about your closet where like, oh, it's so dark in there. I'll fall in and it'll never come mm-hmm. out. Or boogie shit, boogie men shit right. will come out. So supposedly he can like wrap that around like 20 people and tra- transport everybody. Like, you know, a mile away and shit like this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is, yeah. that's, that's, I mean, I'd like to see a little bit of a darker spin on these two characters. They're going to play it up. their powers, mm-hmm. but this is probably going to be fucking I'm sure in the, the flash, description there, you saw what I saw where it's like. Two in terms of lightness and Yeah, and they're, they're corniness, playing up so. the romance angle, actually, yeah. which I thought was something that was kind of played really? down a little bit in the comics. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I thought it was a thing I where can read like, the description here, actually, enough, on, yeah, here. on Deadline. It says, sure. Marvel's Cloak and Dagger follows the interracial romance between Tandy Bowen and Tyrone Jackson, uh, Johnson, I'm sorry. Two teenagers from very Might different... as well have been for a stereotype fucking black guy. <laughs> sorry, like, oh sorry, sorry. No, 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 I'm not on you, but just like Tyrone <laughs> Johnson. Oh, oh no, big no. difference from Tyrone Jackson. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. huge difference. Yeah, yeah. what well, was you guys, you guys working on that for two seconds? Yeah, no. Um, like, anyway. Two teenagers from very different ba- uh, backgrounds who find themselves burdened and awakened to newly acquired superpowers while falling in love. Tandy can emit oh, light funny. daggers and Tyrone has the ability to engulf others in darkness. Um, they quickly learn they are better together than apart, but their feelings for each other make their already complicated world even more challenging. Womp. Womp. <laughs> at the same time, it's a Saturday afternoon special. Yeah. You know what I mean, or whatever. It's like so a, I think after that's, school I special. I think that's enough oh, of that. I've, I've had enough of that. <laughs> I almost did it myself. That's why I started covering my coffee cup. We were using a coffee cup. Yeah, for an it ashtray. sounds like it should be on the CW for sure. Yeah, it seems like it. The, the fact it that sounds like it's on freeform. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, is that which line? is like even lighter than CW. But like yeah. you said, I think it is geared more towards females. That whole channel, I think and you're right. Sh- and that show like sounds like that. Liars, you know, yeah. female. Yeah, it does have that kind of thing built into the, certainly this description of it, which is not far from the description you'd probably find on the character, uh, the comic book version. Look, uh, if you looked up the wiki on them, like you know, mm-hmm. I'm sh- it'd be longer, but <laughs> that's about it. Like uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um. Cool, I guess. Mm. Let's see what happens with it. Maybe mm. it'll look nice, but uh, I'll just enjoy it with the volume off, like some shows. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oops. What was that? Was that your fucking jungle ringtone? I guess screen ran. When you click on a link there, they fucking oh, automatically video play videos. Automatically. That's nice of them. Yeah, I clicked on the next link for the next yeah. uh, next topic. and Oh, I see. You're moving ahead. I like that. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if... Bob's right. He might have read some of the books. Mm-hmm. He may not remember off the top of his head, but um, Garth Ennis, his um, other project, his other comic, The Boys, um, mm-hmm. is actually going to be coming to Cinemax. I mean, it's just starting to go into development now at this point, but Seth Rogen and his mm-hmm. other writer have now, Evan because Goldberg. they... Um, oh, thank you. Because they found success with Preacher at AMC. People or, have seen it, so people are like, oh, shit, oh yeah, what else do you guys want to do? Like, you know what I mean? And uh, now... Preacher is definitely a book that like people for a long time was like, were like, oh yeah, that's got to be on cable. But this is even more so. Oh my god, this is like, yeah, this is really the, the guy who wrote Preacher going off the rails with crazy shit. Like, just real. It's really about like, it's cartoonish to the point, but it's like here's a superhero team. Like superheroes exist in this world where like 
most of them are like real douchebags behind the scenes, like really fucked up and like horn right. dogs and, right. yeah, and junkies and shit like that. It's almost like the excessive celebrity. It's perfect for Showtime. But it's perfect for Showtime. Yeah, right. So these two uh, main characters kind of like, I don't even know if they work for an agency or do whatever, but um, I'm a little loose on it still. They're like muscle. I haven't read it in right? a while. I yeah. forgot. The, I completely. If I remember correctly, I didn't, I didn't read the whole thing either. So sure, sure, sure. I've only read a few of the, the uh, graphic on the trades. Yeah, um, and it's a little loose for me because it's been a while. But um, yeah, that's definitely this over yeah. the top thing. Is this the, is this the one with one of the characters made from the t- the the movie guy? Yeah, he looks like Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. The right. the the, yeah. the guy who gets pulled into it all is like the new guy. He looks exactly like Simon Pegg, and right. it was definitely based on him. And like in their dream world, in their head, they were like, "Oh, Simon Pegg would be the, perfect um, for it." Actually, and, I'm just reading this this uh, article on the sure. screen right now. It says that besides aside from Rogan and, and Evan Goldberg, the guy who created Supernatural. Um, it's also going to be working on it. Yeah, the His guy name who, uh, is Eric Kripke. Kripke. I think he is at least directing the pilot, mm. so, which actually means a lot on a TV show. I've never really seen much of that show, but I've heard that while he was working on it, it was like really good. So, and then when he left, it was like hey, maybe we'll get Simon Pegg on the show <laughs> if he takes any part in it. Sure, I mean you know Adam McKay uh, was they, they, actually working on a movie adaptation of it at Columbia Pictures and Paramount. But that, uh, didn't, yeah, that didn't work I'm out. not surprised. Mm. <laughs> so. Like you know, yeah. If you couldn't get preacher off the ground, mm. not saying it's like something easier. Like oh, it's like bubblegum compared, but it's like yeah, this you definitely weren't getting out of going. control. Just crazy the boys. violence and sex and shit. So. Um, yeah, like really fucked up shit. Like basically, like, looks like, pretty cool. It is cool. Yeah. I mean, in a way, but I mean, like uh, here's a, here's a, here's a basic thing that happens. Uh, like, there's uh, no synopsis of the book on this website, so I'll, I'll try. Yeah, and these look are the guys that keep the superheroes in line behind the scenes. Right. That's the, that's that's exactly but, the hook of it. Right. Yeah. Behind the scenes, they, they're supposed know. to keep them in check a little bit because they're ridiculous. But anyway, like like the Superman. Or the, the Superman type of character yeah. in this, like you, uh, you follow this young girl on a side story as she kind of becomes new to the team, and basically like she has to fuck her way in, like. But it's not like, oh, uh, you know, so like, like innuendo and off to the side. It's yeah, like, yeah. fucking, you gotta suck my fucking dick, you <laughs> skank. Do if you want to get in panel. this fucking team, sounds like my kind of show. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's classy. Yeah, it's classy. classy. It's what, that's what I'm trying to say. So the synopsis on Wikipedia says uh, the series is set between 2006 and 2008 in a world where superheroes exist. However, most of the superheroes in the series' universe are corrupted by their celebrity status and often engage in reckless behavior, comprising the safety of the world. For this reason, the superpowered CIA squad, known as, uh, known informally as the Boys, is charged with monitoring the superhero community. Uh, the name is Butcher's Contribution, a reference from his neighborhood that those in power would send the Boys to handle anyone causing trouble. No, uh, Ennis true. has said in the past that the series would out-preacher preacher presumably referring to the extreme violence and sexuality that were in that series as Hallmark and that the series would end with uh, its tw- 72nd issue. So. Yeah, I don't know mm-hmm. um, how far the boys actually got, but I know stuff I comes out every now issues. and then. No, yeah, yeah, I guess it did. Okay, 72 before. issues. Fair yeah. There you go. Um, so that was yeah. through Vertigo, was it? No, no, but it, it went through a different couple of different publishers for him to finish it. He ended up at Dynamite, Dynamite, Dynamite. but started started at started at Wildstorm. Okay, I've which was uh, Jim Lee's imprint that he broke out of Image and then sold to DC, and then he grew now into being the vice president at DC somehow. Right, kudos on you, Jim Lee. Uh, mm. That's the way to do it. Um, so that's it for TV. Then in the movies, they've cast some guy i don't know to be the bad guy in wolverine 3 and from the descriptions in the article that dom's got the link for the story definitely doesn't sound like what we thought it was going to be old man logan i haven't really checked this out yet but hold on. Yeah. so it's uh, his name is boyd hulbrook yeah what's he you from? might know him from narcos if you've seen that i haven't okay. got yes. a chance to check it out yeah he was I saw, I saw narcos yeah, okay. yeah how, how was that i've i've really that was a good show to- I've wanted. I'm sorry. I've always wanted to check it out, but I've heard that like the subtitles are like fucking. Yes, like, that's only. Th- it is. It's a lot of subtitles. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the subtitles, but the, yeah, it, you're not so good with the Spanish. No, no, so. no not good with Spanish <laughs> at all. But uh, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. It was uh, pretty intense, right? It, you kind of already know the story, though. Okay, you know, it's, it's, it's a true it's, story. Right, it's, it's, uh, um, Pablo. Pablo. Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Well, well, Pablo. You know, I'll well, call it Pablo. It's, it's not. Is it? Him or is it like it's like the loosely way based thing, the, where, the part of where it's like loosely based? Off of no, no, it's him. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's oh, Pablo. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, cool. and it shows you know from the beginning to right, right, right. the end. Very cool. So, so now this but says that 
Um, yeah, the description. This of article the... from Deadline says that uh, Holbrook will play a relentless, calculating, and intense head of security for a global enterprise who is set against Jackman's Claude Wolverine slash Logan Hero. The CAA repped actors deal was just completed on the film, which is gearing up for a May production start. So. Yeah, I don't know. He just I don't remember that really being like. I mean, granted, they're going to tweak it if they are using it to some degree. This story that we think that uh, the Wolverine 3 is going to be based on, originally called Old Man Logan. Well, that they were kind of hinting that that's what it was going to be. But so mm-hmm. maybe that's just, you know, doesn't mean that they've changed the, the game plan, but it didn't sound like anything familiar to me from the comic. You know, but maybe they're doing some misdirection on it. Like, who knows? Like, yeah, you know I, I know. mean, because um, they can't use anybody from the comic. So, right. <laughs> they, they're all Not to get you know, too into it, but, yeah. but that's the whole Fox versus Marvel deal. You know, all the bad guys in that comic book story are, are all the characters they can't use. Mm. Let's see what you do with that. You make your own up, basically. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll use everything well. in the story, all yeah. the events, different characters, I guess. Freshen up a little. That's all. You put a new coat of paint on. That's all. That's it. That's, that's it. All. You vacuum it out. It's like mm-hmm. the car's brand new. It's the same person, just different. Yeah, didn't name. they do that with the uh, the, 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 what's the not so fantastic four movie? That's ex- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, um, they did it, but they didn't realize. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, see now, while Dom's gonna pull up this another article, this reminds me of something. Mike, go to the fridge. I totally forgot about these 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 drinks that I I mm. uh, have gotten for us here. Um, so I, I was like, oh, tomorrow we're going to have a, a guest on the show, mm. my buddy Mike. I'm not saying Mike's a fucking alcoholic, but I saw, I was going to get some beers and, um, I saw these there and I was like, let's try these on the fucking show and, um, take one, pass them around. These are yeah. Henry's hard soda. These are hard orange. So they look like, um, on the outside, like an I'm orange, like a regular those. orange soda, but they're oh, obviously, yeah. um, you know, one of these malt or made, or made with it cane looks interesting. sugar. I guess if you like orange smells soda, smells orangey with just yeah. a little bit of alcohol to it. Smells like an orange soda. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that goes down way too easy. Very easily. Oh my god, a little bit too much. A little bit. Um, yeah. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that is very good. <laughs> and four point two percent alcohol. Jeez, yeah, so it's, the beer. Yeah, I think I don't um, taste any uh, liquor really. No, there's no like uh, aftertaste or anything. That's like that? the cane sugar. No, not really. You, I, mean, I you, had a couple drinks. Just... Other drinks have had cane sugar, no fructose. And you see how you have to, like you don't have any. Film in your mouth, yeah. the sugar film. Yeah. That's because there's no fucking fructose in there. Wow, that's yeah. very good. You're 100 percent right, though. These are dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, dangerously good. That's what they should put on the label. They should. That's our <laughs> official review of Henry's Hard. Yeah, we soda. might have to make this a part of the show with, uh, and go, as we go through different <laughs> yeah, flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Henry's. Uh, if you're looking for a right. show to sponsor, <laughs> so far this is your first one. You get this one free. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate that, though. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be cola, root beer. What else? Well, that's what it yeah, was. I'm in it's line. funny because I've had the root beer before. Right, we, we were talking, talking about it before we were on mic, and I like the flavor of it because I like root beer, but it just, I can't, you can't drink you can't it all. Drink you it. It's very it filling. All. Yeah, well, that, and it's just so sweet that like you, you can't drink more than three or four See, of them this in is, one sitting. This, I feel like I probably could, though, because this, it's, this is not that sweet. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not that sweet. There's a crispness to it. Yes, that citrus. The, the carbonation's not too high on it yeah. either. No. Where it doesn't feel like gassy going down. Like, nope. like, like you no, expect you, it to because it tastes like the you soda. F- you feel the bubbliness as it's as right. it's in your mouth, and then as it goes down, it's not gassy. Oh boy! If I pulled sound clips, that one would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I I give good radio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it might be good too. So. Uh, <laughs> What's popping? It says under my cap. I don't know if anybody else if they do individual caps. Remember right? how we used to do these with uh, the not caps? The, you not get, this you cap, put it between though, your finger, you, like you're snapping your fingers. Henry's right. finest hour. And then you oh, s- they do a little different thing. Yeah. 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 cap. And then you snap oh, yeah, fingers yeah. and oh, then yeah. flying. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna oh, do that. Yeah. I was pretty Thanks. deadly with that. I was I was ducking and dodging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, well, anyway, so sorry to interrupt with a little refreshment, mm. but um, back into some newsy stuffs. So in honor of, I guess, getting drunk. I saw this uh, story about Macaulay Culkin, and is in it. He basically says that um, his life as being a thirty-something involves a lot of um, whatevering, just whatever. Like basically, it comes down to like, yeah, man, I just I don't. I'm basically retired. Like I don't make movies. I just do whatever the fuck I want. I made a ton of movies well, yeah. as a kid. Well, if you got that kind of money, but it is a. F- I, I wish I had that in front of me, mm. maybe. But there is a funny line. Uh, and the way they just they describe him in the article as just uh, ah shit I can't remember. But um, it was funny how blatant and just how upfront he was about it. Like just like yeah, well you know I I made 
sort of making eight million dollars a movie after a while. So I'm set for life now. I don't. But I, I thought he didn't have I, any money. I don't think so. I, think, I thought he lost all his money. I don't think so. No? I think he still got a good chunk. I thought that's, his parents screwed him. Think. I thought oh, his no, parents that was, screwed um, him out. That, who, that was uh, his parents had a big nasty divorce though. Because he had sisters and a brother. Yes. You know, they were trying to get them all famous. And there was definitely a... The little brother was in stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But I think he survived that pretty well. But the... Uh, what was that? The midget... Like the the black kid, the midget that was a child. Oh, Andy. Uh, 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 Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Oh, Gary Coleman. He got fucked. Yes, he yes. Got his parents. parents. Like his parents ripped him off. Yeah. yeah. And because yeah. of a, him and a couple other kids. And that's where all these like laws change supposedly, mm. and even before Gary Coleman, like he really shouldn't have gotten as fucked as he did, because yeah. they had changed laws at one point because of like uh, Shirley Temple and shit like that, yeah. and then later that on that happened to the other yeah, little black guys, guys Webster. Them. Yeah, it seems like you know every generation they find Child another way to fucked. you know mm-hmm. what I mean they find another way to yeah. fuck this kid over. Yeah. 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 I'm going to take 25%, all right? You yeah, don't mind, exactly. right? I'm your dad, right? Yeah, sure, I guess. Pay for the fucking Maserati. He right. said, excuse me, he said mm. by the time he was 12 that he made enough money to never work again, so. Macaulay, right? That's the thing in yeah. the article. Hey. Yeah. So, hey, good for him. Yeah, good that's awesome. Him. Really? He probably still makes money off a of Home Alone, dude. So there's a thing there oh, he yeah, says, uh, basically, like, he still get he still gets laid off a of home alone. Absolutely, <laughs> that's, that's a weird I mean, thing to yeah. get laid off of. Yeah, that. And, yeah. You were hot when you were seven, I guess. Is what okay, yeah. Yo, bitch, Come here. You see this? <laughs> yeah. This is me. Wasn't get I to adorable? Work. Uh, uh, you know what's cute now? Uh, My penis is pretty uh, cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, but he's looking deathly ill. He says in the article there too, like he basically like four o'clock in the morning is like the best time to go out because no one bothers him or no one recognizes him. He lives in Manhattan, I think. Yeah. Which is like... Him and Shia, him and Shia LaBeouf should fucking hang out together. I think... They, they look like uh, they could be a good team. I think they would make a good team. Like yeah, but Shia team. LaBeouf didn't make a whole lot of money, so he'd be mooching off of uh, he's made him some, all the I'm time. sure he's made a lot hey, of McCauley, money. Hey, McCauley, you got a couple yeah. bucks? Uh, yeah. I got to pay my rent. He might be getting <laughs> some tips on how to make it last from McCauley, make, like maybe. Like, maybe. what is it, small doses of heroin? Is that yeah. how, we, <laughs> how we stretch out the funds? <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough about picking on that guy. So also, um, I'm going to skip that next one. I don't know why we left that in there. That should have came out because <clears throat> I don't care. But I wanted to go into this thing. Click on this link here and this next one, this one below that the Amazon Not thing. Star okay. So I don't know if anybody's seen it. So Amazon's got this thing now where you can get these buttons put in your house awesome. where, where you can just have it preset to order you a new supply of, let's say, laundry detergent. Yeah. So it's a Tied button you put yeah. on your on your washing machine. I've seen machine. the commercial for this. And, you know, right. So uh, it's connected to your Wi-Fi. So whatever you need, you just it's keyed up put to it your in. Account. Whenever you run uh, out of that specific... That specific item. Of, of okay. Thing, if you just press it and that... You, you set it for how much you want to sure. get sent to your house. Preset, right. And then... Uh, so yeah. now, but it's like... The first thing I thought was... It's going to get ridiculous. Yes. Oh, clear. Because you're going to have buttons so for everything. Do you want... And they are. Do, yeah. you, do you want to replenish your Doritos? Mm. Do you want to replenish your Slim Jims? Yep. There's a yep. button for that. Mm-hmm. Now this is this is my and Amazon's coming out with here. that uh, same day delivery. Tell us what, what, what do you got? This there? is my personal. I'm sure these buttons are fully yeah. licensed. Oh, the Trojan. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Some go. of these things make sense. Don't yes. get me wrong. Like if you all of a sudden pull out your last condom, no, you know like, that you're like, not going to have one. Though when is you it need like? It. Is it like? Like, oh, can yeah. I have one? Yeah. I need the drone. How, now, do, I, now. how really? do I upgrade to the drone service to get this but, in a minute? But that's what they're doing too, Amazon. They're yeah. doing that same day delivery, and they hired uh, like all the Uber drivers in New York and Supposedly, New Jersey. Yeah, they were trying to do to, this. Yeah, to deliver through. their stuff. Yeah, that would be crazy. I didn't that hear about that. That's all. Yeah. Like, because I know they were trying out the drones in like certain states where they have like big ass factories that they could do it in. Yeah, but that's right. never so, going to happen. Right. I don't right. They have these distribution centers yeah. where like to go out into the immediate area of there kind of would make some sense. Right. Yes. But and like. That's like, 15, that's like, from what I understand, was like 20, 25 minute delivery from like the time you ordered it. Ordered it, yes. So, Damn. It's like you. Yes. Well, yeah. that's. You but know. I mean, it was a drone, and it was at a time where drones were like first surfacing, like 2010, 2012. So yeah. they can only carry like a pencil. And now yeah, all the laws are starting to come. That was really heavy. Right now, all the laws are starting to come into place too. Drones, like. exactly. Yeah, I don't see yeah. that ever happen in uh, in the city. No. Maybe out in some Daddy. rural area, maybe over yeah. farmlands and stuff like that, because they're not going to be able to fly over, yeah. you know, yeah. pedestrians. No. Yeah, but houses. how many people are going to shoot these freaking things down? Oh, exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. I shoot that thing down with a paintball gun. Yeah, and yeah I can exactly. I could steal Joey's fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> Get Joey's package oh, and a drone. That's yeah. in decent shape. I mean, What's inside to... the pinata today, guys? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Boom. Exactly. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Just oh, a shotgun in the air, man. It's, it's old be lady like... panties. All right. We'll wait yeah. for another yeah. one. But I don't know. I'm yeah. sorry. We can sell these on eBay. We, we could sell these on Amazon. So <laughs> if we go, I don't know if you can see any other maybe interesting um, buttons for these. Um, I got to be honest, man. There's like anything you can think of. There's a button for it. Like, yeah, like the, tons of them. The man. one that you it's put crazy. the link on, on the, uh, on the Google Doc, mm. is mainly like food and and gum and drinks. And yeah, well, that's like what that. I was thinking. Is that like but uh, I was looking at one. I was looking at it some the of other it's day, practical and like there's but the ridiculous stuff. But there's like, well, there's condoms, obviously. So that's like. Well, that's practical. Thing. It is practical. That's true. Mm-hmm. Because I really feel like that's like a decent one because I've been in a situation but where I've gone got to a the Red drawer, Bull one. Right. I've gone to the drawer to go get a condom out of it, and I'm like, fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, like the last time I used the last one. That's right. Like I knew that. Supposed to go well, buy. Go. I supposed to, exactly. <laughs> and now she's doing this, where it's like, what well, the, you better hurry up and get to the fucking store. Uh, yeah. You know, and then you're hoping she's awake when you come back, and then like you're not a jerk for just dry humping. There's. Wait, right. Did I say that? What would make <laughs> What would make sense to me is if they were to come up, like, you you set it up like you're setting up a uh, shopping online, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where you basically go in and you set up like a basic order that you always get. Sure. Okay. And you tie that to a button. Yes. So right. you go to your fridge, you look in there, and you're like, I have a pretty bear here. Time to order some shit. And then you hit the button. That's exactly and then what you it know, is. Now you don't have to worry for like two days later. You get that stuff comes. Yeah. And maybe on your way home from work, well, you pick stage, up milk and eggs. Right. That's, well, at this stage, it's you know specific I mean? to items. But I can see a time right, when. But, right. That, that's the way it should be. Like, yeah. it, it, but the, with the specific items, it's all about marketing for each individual item. Well, that's the thing. It's got a brand logo. Right. They're probably picking up Every some time of the cost. S- yeah. And I could picture a thing where you actually would open up your cabinet. And you would just have like on the back of the door, yeah. like twenty all, all yeah, your 20 buttons, buttons sitting I there. Actually, I actually watched a video on Amazon the other day, and someone the uh, tutorial video they had was a woman. She walked over to her like every day. It was like every morning she'd wake up, get out of bed, go to her um, Keurig, mm-hmm. throw a, a pod in, make a coffee, and then go to work. And like they did it like three times, three mornings, and then the, the, the last morning she wakes up, there's no pods left, and she's like, "Fuck." So she presses the button that she's got like sitting right next to the pods, right. and then like the next day she's got them, and then she and then she makes them again. Well, she needs to think to remind her when she's running out that she's got only True. two left. Yeah. Because yeah. now it she's should, still got to wait a week. Noise. Well, yeah, she's got to remember when she's on the last the one to press trailer. the button. Right. That's but it's a little ridiculous with some of the stuff there. Are you going to walk around with 200 of these things? Well, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like you need a button because of Slim Jims. Like, where's They're your really? life at? That's what I'm saying. Like, they're somebody's they're snacks yeah. is like, yeah. I think yeah. the snacks. Well, for I them, mean, it's it's the, it's a way to get you to eat that specific item. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, not just any jerky, right. but Slim Jims. But it, also, you know what it reminds me of, right. too? It reminds me of Good now... Point, uh, <laughs> It's not as instant, but it reminds me of uh, the Jetsons when Rosie would go to the big thing and say, what do you want, Mr. J? You need a cheeseburger? <laughs> yeah. And she'd be like, boop, 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 boop. cheeseburgers for you, Mr. J. How's it going? <laughs> and he'd be like, Rosie, this was a great cheeseburger pill. I, we're not I, up to the pills yet, but we're getting the button <laughs> systems going. I think the most um, you know, practical ones are like they have a Gillette dash button. They have a Olay, yeah. which is makeup, and they have... Clorox wipes. They got um, Dixie cups and paper. Absolutely, I feel Hefty like certain bags, Ziploc. Bags. But the, yeah, but that's stuff that you don't need instantly. Well, I think that's the thing. Well, yeah. I think that's why it's right. perfect because it's like, like for diapers um, and stuff, like, like sitting there changing the kid. Like, yeah. Like granted, like the yeah. diaper buttons are gonna have shit smeared on it after a while. <laughs> yeah. You're probably gonna want to wipe that one down. But no, the it's diaper button's gonna have to be a heavy exactly. duty button too. Uh, man. Yeah. Uh. Slam, slam. It's gonna be a big ass button like the Staples button. I mean, they gotta be small. I'm looking at this picture here. Yeah, they show one on like a wall or a dryer and it's like you know heaven forbid you knock it off or something like yeah. so I mean yeah. so it's wait, exclusively it's no for bigger than the guitar tuner I could, you have basically yeah like, I know but I just I just thought of something these all hook to your Wi-Fi, right uh, yeah so every so, single yeah. time you buy one of these for a different specific item you gotta set it up for your Wi-Fi, right yeah Bluetooth probably right. something like now, that yeah how often do you have a problem with your Wi-Fi? You oh, get, yeah, my and, Wi-Fi and, my house. And you get a new router. Oh, yeah. So if you got your washer and dryer right. in the basement. Yeah, so now you, yeah. got, your phone, you got your phone, like, your tablet, oh, your work? computer, did your laptop. Work? And 900 and of these things. All right? Why does everybody in the house have cancer this right. week? I not even that. Care. Like, I don't know. I have kids, so <laughs> having those buttons in the house. Oh, we need Doritos. We need Doritos. You'll be pushing oh, that button a hundred yeah. times. You that's know. a great point. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's exactly even, what you know, Even garbage bags, they'll be pushing the button, you know, yeah, just to push yeah, yeah, the button. Well, that's easy that. to solve. You just don't get any buttons for those things. Well, yeah, but well, they just push the buttons to push the button, you know? Yeah, real yeah. little. Like, you know, they're yeah, they, friends. The kids. Look at this thing. Is this yeah. button yet? Yeah. I'm going to order up some laundry detergent. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 
Because you know, you know what you do then? It's like because you ordered four hundred things of uh, garbage bags. You're going to go to school with your lunch and a freaking garbage bag <laughs> every day. Until, well, you there's know no more of these freaking to? garbage bags. You know what's going to happen too? You're going to be at a party and you're going to be a little drunk and mm. like you don't like those fucking people that much. You're going to be like, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. fucking tied. <laughs> Fucking Slim Jim, uh, Slim yeah. Jim, Slim Jim, <laughs> Slim Jim. Oh, did Jerry make me feel like a jerk out in the living room? Here's a box of fucking Slim Jims, another box of Slim. That's a good one. That's good. And fucking, and then throw the button away, like, like fucking toss it out yeah. the window. I'm just looking at it now. We'll make it look like it fell behind the refrigerator. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stand on it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking orders going in. I mean, seven hundred. No one from no one from Amazon calling to see if there's a reason why you ordered seven hundred cases right. of Slim Jims. Well, it's like the guy who's got the pizzeria that never gets any business. And so when the guy <coughs> when the guy calls with a prank for ten pizzas, he just gets excited. He just gets excited. He makes the <laughs> right. pies, and then he goes right. and he tries to make the people pay for the pizzas. Right. All right. Maybe you should have thought oh, about that. Oh, here we right. go, Bill. They thought about that. Amazon. Okay. Oh, they, they did. They got some safety. They kit. offer. For an additional five dollars per button, you can have order protection, which, insu- which oh ensures my God, that they... dash button responds only to your first press until your order is delivered. Why do I gotta wow. have to pay five dollars well, for that? Yeah, that's though? such a why fucking that each one. Well, why could each one? Why couldn't that just be a thing that you assign if you want it on there? Like that should be an option. That should that be should... a safety option. That like exactly. when you set it up. They should I be allowed to... to do that, man. That's fucking wrong. That's fucking no. That's, or that's or if you order wrong. multiples, they email you. You get um, you do get free shipping on all of the because uh... it's tied to Prime, probably yeah. too. Well, it's exclusive for Prime members, so if you, oh, so you got to well. be paying the monthly fucking Prime account anyway to even get these fucking. And then if I want it to work properly, I have to pay an extra, pay extra five, five bucks, dollars. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's a scumbaggy move. That that that's, saves me that's what, actual uh, two minute up trip up and seventy cents of gas to the fucking local pet yeah. mark or something right. that I would if go and buy my glad bags from. Yeah. My glad bags. <laughs> you know? I'm glad I got these bags. <laughs> yeah, I think Glad should be upset with that extra five dollar thing because that's gonna keep you from buying an extra thing of glad bags. Well, yeah, right. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> each them each, anyways, got, each so. one yeah. should they should t- say they should say to Amazon, no, that five dollar. See that button just you just set it up like that. Don't do that. That button just goes to show you how lazy people are. Well, that's the yes. thing. It's totally taking How lazy of fucking people are. Like, mm-hmm. on principle, I get it. Like, if you were, like, had it in your laundry or you had it near your changing table for your kid, it makes total mm-hmm. sense. In your bathroom, maybe, right. like, two of them, three of them in the bathroom for certain things. Certain. But, right. like... I, I think it's... I, it's yeah, just going to go brand crazy. I think it's... it's like brands can probably just apply for this yeah. to yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Like, oh, Slim yeah. Jim wants it. Yeah, you know, all oh, craft. They got it. All their yeah. brands. Of course. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I There's think it's no... practical for like the like everyday things like you were saying, like the glad bags, the detergent, mm-hmm. the baby wipes, and the ba- right. and the yeah. diapers and shit. But like, there's no reason to have Doritos <laughs> no, delivered no, no. to your house every <laughs> no. week. You know no. what I mean? Like, it, like if if it saves you like tw- 10, 20 minutes going to the store to buy diapers for your youngest kid in between fucking soccer practice for your middle kid, <laughs> it's 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 a good thing I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rather than I, having I, to yeah. save the two minute trip to the bodega to buy Doritos. <laughs> yeah, but there's no sense of corporate responsibility here from Amazon at all. The way that they've Designed this and marketed this thing, pretty Not, to a certain it's, degree, it's man. It's yeah. all about a cash grab yeah, with them, yeah. Because they're getting it's their idea, so they get money from each company for each button. You know what part of this is too? And then it's they get hour. five dollars extra. Well, that's the that's the to real, keep you that's from, a real yeah, clincher to keep on you end. from uh, having to over order. And part of this too is them trying to push this whole new thing with them of the groceries and um, the supermarket type stuff. You know, the stuff that can it's not. "Quote unquote non completely non perishable, mm-hmm. but it's like you know it's chips, it's, it's snacks, it's canned well, goods, remember, though, it's jarred it's... stuff. Like that's right. like one of their initiatives, and it's probably not taking off for them like they thought it would. Like so, here's a way to kind of like yeah, I'm betting put five dollar thing is a big fucking no no. Well, you got to you be surprised. That it's only four ninety nine for a one time purchase of the button, right. and then the five dollars is only a one time payment. So you're really getting oh, this okay. button for ten bucks. Right. So it's not like every time you order, you have to. Pay a five dollars. Okay, I thought like, it might right. have been like a it's recurring. It's like when you buy an iPhone. Oh, yeah, I thought it was like a month. But why you have still have the hundred dollars? Why it still is have the freaking the option though? Yeah, yeah. It's still even why, at a fee like still, that. Yeah, it should just be ten dollars, and then right. yeah. I agree. Do you know, yeah. it's like listen. If you want to pay the regular price, you're gonna get all the fucking Doritos you want, whether you want them or fucking not. You know why they it, did it? You know why they did it? Because, because of the reason they're hoping people fuck up. They're yeah. hoping people don't get it by accident, even, and then that their kids fucking you know, or they order too many at once. Like oh, it felt like it stuck. Let me hit the button again. 
you know, oh, you ordered two, ma'am. Oh, I didn't need to. Well, you know, I we, we, and I but, get up. but that button, <laughs> that button with yeah. like with the limit there, yeah. it actually protected them because now people are canceling orders. Fair enough, that too. You know, degree, yeah. it's actually returns. Or demanding, and they're getting returns and yeah. they're getting paying twice on the shipping and all right. that. You know, so what, you know what would solve it? Really helps problems? them. It might, yeah. yeah what would point. solve all these problems to me is if you got like a push notification on your iPhone or whatever phone you have. Every single time you push you that push button, it, yeah. and you, like it's like confirmed you ordered something. Right, 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 right. That, you like, probably do get. You probably do, but get in, like, like an email. An email. Yeah, like you get like the email, normal. Like hoping that people don't check their email. Right, you get the normal purchase. Like if you have app the Amazon, Amazon app on yeah. your phone, like it should send you a notification, mm-hmm. like through your push notifications, mm-hmm. instantly. Right. Seventy-five, so you know. seventy-five bags of Oreos. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? It's, it's a like, little fishy to us, like Jimmy. Yeah, but we all know that you know Apple used to do the same shit. All the companies, all of them. Oh yeah, they all did it. The Google Play, as soon as the kid got a freaking game, and it was like, oh, if you want to actually play the game right, you have to buy this item, and yeah, you need to buy 100 sure. of these at $4 a freaking piece. Yeah. Oh, and the kid's like, okay, click. Exactly. And yep. next thing you know, it's not till two weeks freaking later that you get the notification. That it's mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, here. You got a fucking... On you your got ca- a bill of $5,000. People, yeah. people were getting so mad about that at first, and now um, Apple on the iTunes store, on the App Store, have to put on a free app, or even if it's an app that you have to pay for, mm-hmm. it, has this, it says in the description... Before we even click on the app, that it has in-app purchases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a thing that, 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 that they all do now. They'd yeah, be like looking at the, the app and like right. playing the game That's, or something. Yeah, but, and but it's still accidentally click. Like, oh sure, even even adults do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Adults were doing it, not realizing because because the, cause the guys guys who right. make the phone games phone don't make it too <laughs> clear. Right. But that's that's so that they can yeah. they can uh, not have responsibility. Right. Exactly. Oh yeah. That's yeah. not to protect you or to tell you anything. No, they no, could no, care just, less about that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. It, it's all about protecting themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as absolutely. they try. Well, we to warned you. you. Off. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. We warned yeah. you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's all. That's all self protection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Is this a nerd show or a uh, DIY well, show? Listen, we're, we're mixing it up this week. <laughs> you know, we're making good on time and we're, we're having some fun. So, um, and the reboot report. We'll just mention it real quick. You know, they are making another Predator movie. Mm. And Why? Because nothing ever dies in Hollywood, it seems. Mm. Um, These days. And if it does, if it goes away for a while, we can bring it back. You know? What are we going to see this time around? Are we going to see the Predator with his wife and kids? Hey, just look at it like this. Be happy that <laughs> right. we don't... You know I mean, what I was thinking that's about all that's left. Day? You know what I was thinking about the old day? Like, luckily, we don't get any remakes of, like, really old stuff by the dozen because no one's really... Come on, I'm waiting for that remake of Citizen Kane, man. Well, I want to see somebody with the stones to try and take that. You know what I mean? It's like going to happen one day. But we don't get anything from that era remade on a regular basis. It's, it's all shit that within our age group, our frame of reference, mm. gets remade. So yeah. shit we grew up with, you know, so be mm. lucky that we don't get, like, uh, Bridge on the River Kwai. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, um, uh, what's the other one? Gone with the Wind and these kinds of things. Yeah. You know, we could be buried in that Surprise shit. Surprise they didn't too. remake Gone, Gone with those. the Wind. Uh, yeah, that's mm. a good point. But I, I feel like people that, especially like film people, no, they mm-hmm. did make a sequel. They consider them classics. Yeah, so they're they like a little wanna, protective. They don't want to fuck with that shit. Yeah, yeah, know? that's like almost sacrilegious to them. Exactly. Like a lot of people were kind of like bent when uh, they did that remake of Psycho. Right. Like they, the shot for right. shot remake, and it's like you know, I think Vince Vaughn was in it. Maybe it was Christian Bale, wasn't? It? Oh no, that's American Psycho. American Psycho. American Psycho. You're yeah. thinking, but um, yeah. But anyway, now I'm thinking of Saved by the Bell. I'm not sure why. But. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, I think there was, wasn't there a Kristen Bell on Saved by the Bell or something like no, that? No, Kristen Bell was on um, <laughs> Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars. Oh, Veronica yes. Mars. Yes. She's. Uh, I would expect that Saved by the Bell uh, mm. reboot pretty soon. No, I wouldn't be surprised if fucking Nickelodeon or something brought that back. It's all right. Ned's declassified yeah. school survival, survival guide. That was a great show, man. I actually was. You keep bringing it up. <laughs> the one thing that you two have is a connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Is a fucking, what is it, Nickelodeon you said? Nickelodeon? Yeah, it is Nickelodeon. My yeah. kids yeah, watch it's it. Yeah. That, it's, that was, like, it's that actually was a big good, thing when I was Is it in a good show, though? Uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, it's a good uh, show. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate. I don't. Uh, I don't really pay attention to them. <laughs> Some of them so, unless all of a sudden I'm like, what did that show fucking say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you watching in there? So or, um, good eye candy. But anyway, yeah. So Fifty Cent is supposed to be casted in that Predator movie that I was uh, oh, just there. I uh, don't know why, but if you wanted me mm. to give you any kind of credit or hope for this movie to be yeah, anything. I gotta so be honest, man. It's got already 50s. predestined to be a bad Predator movie. Well, uh, maybe Dom's going to talk against that. Cause, no, no. Uh, I, I, w- I mean, 50, he does. I, I watch Power. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. show on stars that he, Fitty. that he produces mm-hmm. and uh, and he writes, I think, some of it also. Um, he's, he's rough on the show. Sure. 
But uh, from what I've heard, like online and shit, like he does do like a, a lot of the heavy lifting when it, in terms of like behind the scenes shit. Well, with I'm that sure show. he does. He's well, like he's not he's not animal. just like a name. Like they put like Mick Jagger's name on like that show vinyl and right, HBO. Right, 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 right. He fucking took a couple of pictures on set one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> he had um, one meeting about yeah, a story. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah, I've would, heard that he's I actually was there. Was there. he's actually become I was like there. he's I was actually there. become pretty pretty good with that shit and. He wasn't bad and get rich or die trying. I mean, I love that movie. Well, that's uh, what I feel like. I feel like he's the kind of guy. Like he's like Tyrese a little bit. Not to only be talking about black guys, but like certain actors like have a wheelhouse. I have like a, a, a type of movie that they make or character that they play. That that's about about it. it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting him to be in this as the general. No. You know, as like top dog in the army. Like or if something. it was like Scary Movie Nine, yeah. and they were like they were making fun of Predator, and Fifty was like <laughs> came in there and was like trying to be like the goofball, like fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect, yeah, 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 be perfect, like, perfect. You know what I mean? Or he's gonna be in Predator. He's gonna be like the badass guy on the team, yeah. like you know what I mean, of the team of badasses, obviously. But you know, he'll be that guy. But yeah. I mean, he, like, he does play a solid role on Power. I mean, he, he's uh. He's definitely the antagonist. He's good show. on that. He's convincing so, enough and all that yeah, kind of shit. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, a, it's a solid show. If you're not watching, you should check it out. And you know, hey, I'm not going to say, you know, the one thing you can only fall back on with any of these things is that no one's trying to make a bad movie. So maybe mm-hmm. somebody saw something during mm-hmm. an, like an interview. And what's audition. his name? Is, is that, uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure um, Shane Black is directing this movie. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bringing it full circle since yeah. he was in the first one. We'll return after these messages. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Knock, knock. Versus the Predator. Predator, rated R. The Battle of the Century starts Friday, June 12th. Let's jump in. I'll just, I'll just jump in. <laughs> Pretend that I'm not drinking his orange soda pop. These are going Burp, down good. Too good. Too good. Too good. Henry's hard soda. Hard orange. That's some creepy music I didn't want. Does that mean that uh, The Walking Dead was on this past That's week? what that means. That and, means... And then that's, this season ended? Yeah, it's over. The season that's it. Nothing to worry about. Season. Everything's fine. Um, I think everybody got like a like a little basket for coming out. And then um, Negan was like, here's one for you, and here's one for you. Some chocolates. Yeah. Some uh, some fancy soaps. Now, Mike, do you watch The Walking Dead? No, I don't. No, he doesn't. No. That's yeah. cool. Me either. Yeah, yeah, I know Bob doesn't. Yeah, that's, that's why we're going to keep this short. so we don't drive yeah, we'll be crazy close about it. But um, so if you haven't seen it and you're looking to check it out, I would advise you to hop out of yeah. the episode now because we're definitely going to spoil the shit out of it. And this is going to kind of wrap us up anyway. I mean, we'll, we'll have one last little thing later, but nothing yeah. special. But um, yeah, as far as The Walking Dead goes, man, like I, I feel like I'm over my anger and my rage. It's a been a bit. week now. I, I, and I'm I've like, been... I'm kind of like, ah, all right, whatever. You know? Yeah, no, I mean, you know better than anyone that the second the cliffhanger aired, yeah, that I was fucking devastated. Did you flip angry, a table? Did you flip a table? Pissed. Um, <laughs> I almost no. Actually, my I shit you not. My fucking initial like as it happened, my my reaction was the screen goes black and I just jumped up out of my seat. Fucking threw the remote at the floor <laughs> and walked upstairs. Was this the ending of the Soprano? <laughs> you know, it, yeah, it right? kind of it was like it was like that. It was decisive like that. It was one of these things where they built it up, built it up, built it up, built it up, and they did a, like a cop out. They did a fade to black, like you know, he kills somebody, but you don't see who he kills. And this is a guy we've been waiting. And you know, it's like a main character who he kills too. So yeah. it's like, like the whole thing is predicated on in the comics that when this bad guy finally shows up he kills a main character like you know what i mean and they, okay if you change it and don't do the same character like okay fine yeah but to not show us like they switch to the camera's point of view like the, the character's point of view and like he because this is how negan does it in the comic but he you know he's got a, a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire and he does a nice square straight on the top of the fucking head fucking shot. And then it followed by some more shots on this person. Okay. You know, the, the initial po- shot is like just hard enough where like the guy's fucking head just like cracks in like immediately. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's so fucking it's like, brutal. It's really brutal. Yeah. Like the scene in the comic is really brutal. So I was like the whole season they've been saying that he was going to come on. They make you wait till the last episode of the season for the guy, for the character Negan. And it's a guy. good scene. And it's like Follow a the comics scene. really well. I won't get too into the fact that I didn't really like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You weren't feeling him? Negan, it wasn't really feeling it. It was okay. a little too, like, jokey for ne- even Negan. Yeah. Um, but uh, then they fucking pulled that shit, man. It's like, I feel like the thing with the, with the personality, trying to tap into his personality, is one of these things with Preacher, I'm having a problem with it, too, where it's like, I don't remember 
like Cassidy from Preacher seeming like he was always jokey, jokey, jokey. We yeah, talked about this a little really, bit. Honestly. And although Negan is a guy like we don't really do get that, like he's like smarmy and sarcastic, but really smart and witty at the same time. Um, and he's always smiling like an evil smile. Yeah. But when you see someone do that on TV, like sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Yeah. Like that, that evil charm kind of thing where you're trying to be evil, charming. It feels a little bit like trying too hard mm-hmm. sometimes, but it worked for me in general. The problem for me, I didn't dislike his yeah like, interpretation of the character at all, by, like by any means. But I'm not going to say I loved it. I was kind of actually expecting a little more from him because I think he kind of fits the character pretty well. When like, I was looking at the clock, I was opinions. like, I was like, we're running out of time on I know. this. And before we even seen and him, I'm like, they make they say, all right. Finale is going to be 90 minutes. We oh, got the man. biggest villain coming in of all fucking time, and he's going to fucking wow you. Yeah, so for they an hour, give us 15. An hour, if it wasn't even an hour, I would say it was probably 50 something minutes right. of actual episode runtime, and then sure, a half sure, hour, sure. if not more, of commercials yeah. in the 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they don't bring him in then until like the final like three minutes or five minutes of the episode you so, spend like, this whole episode as this group and the episode wasn't even good like the episode like before you, you he... follow this whole episode that the, the group trying to get this one girl right. basically past a certain point that, uh, you know because uh in the, in the, in the caravan she's, she's sick she's she's early stages of pregnancy and now something's gone wrong we have to get her to this other camp where they have a doctor and some okay. medical supplies. Okay. So now Negan's this guy they've been building up. They've kind of killed some of Negan's guys. Negan's going to want revenge. That's basically how it goes in the comics. So in route to going there, they keep coming across these roads where their path is cut off by some of Negan's men. And either they're allowed to back up or they have some kind of moment and they, they manage to get away. And every path they go on, so they start to realize, oh, they're, they're, they're leading us towards right. one way. One to way, yeah. You Being know, right. <clears throat> so in a fat last ditch effort like they set up some bullshit where it's like one guy's like okay i'll take the caravan you guys go on foot and the, the group of them all get caught anyway and then uh-huh. when they get to the spot where it's gonna we're gonna have this big showdown the guy the, with, the, with caravan the caravan is there. he's already been caught because he's the dope he's the dump the dump is eugene you know what i mean useful but whatever and i think you know they started to lay out some things to kind of do this whole misdirect where eugene has like this storyline going on where he's trying to figure out how we can start making our own bullets you know, right. end of the world, and we're running out of bullets. So he gives all his documents, just happens to feel like, this might be the end of the road for me, so I'm going to give you all my paperwork and my and my reports and my big stack of papers so that you can carry on my legacy of bullet making, or whatever the <laughs> fuck he said. And it's like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Very convenient, but I feel like that's a misdirect mm-hmm. for anybody who's going to be thinking like, oh, that means they're going to kill Eugene. Yeah. It's just a way for them to be like, well, maybe, yeah. maybe not. Yeah, I don't think, just to get into it, I really don't think that... Uh it's going to be any different from the comic. I think it's going to be Glenn who ends up, you know, yeah. who ends up being on the other side of the screen when yeah. you do see it next season. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you this, man. Depending on who it is it's that gets killed thing for everybody. is going to be the deciding factor on whether or not I stick with the show. When I initially saw the episode, I was like, fuck this show. I'm done. Fuck. I fucking yeah. cursed out everyone that works on the show on Twitter. People in the room. I told everyone, on t- I told everyone that works on the show to go fuck themselves. <laughs> fuck this fucking um, show. I said I, I was done with it, but like now, you know, I see it's a week later, so I've kind of fucking and I digested. have ten months to digest it. <laughs> right, so, right, right, right. You've read a couple of articles. Yeah, so like, right. so I'm cool with it right now. But if yeah, it ends it, up being no, like a, a, a secondary, like a tertiary character, like Eugene, or right. a, even Abraham, or someone else, yeah, because that's not in, like a main main character yeah. from like the beginning of the show. Yeah, yeah, one of these last four or five core. Characters. I'm done for yeah. for sure because yeah. I didn't like what they did, as you know. With the Glenn thing midway sure. through the yeah, season, nobody did, and I just can't. I I just don't think that, you know, because the the way they look at it is that, uh, as like I'm not gonna fucking accuse them of not knowing who it actually is to, that got killed off, and that, like the okay. reason why they did this was because they still have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they still haven't decided. Right, right. I'm not gonna accuse them of that, but with that does leave them. But with right? that said, mm-hmm. it does, and it's and it's a thing that it's like, do you have any respect for your fucking viewers? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you you did this thing with Glenn. You did the thing last episode with with Daryl that you didn't even fucking like you, remotely touch on the the ending of the last, second to last episode ends with like one of the main characters getting shot. So like, it's like is shoulder. this guy dead now? Because you can't see if it's a shoulder, if it's his head, what it is. And so they go you, to black. And then like they didn't even like touch on it in the next episode. It wasn't like oh Daryl's okay. Like you just see Daryl and he's just like hanging they pull out. him out of a box and, and he's just like, like hanging oh, out. Like, he's like I'm like, not like, feeling he good. Like he didn't even have like a sling on. I don't think. 
Nothing. Is it I'm dirty? I exactly. still need a shower. No, that <laughs> sounds like they wimped out on that one too. Yeah. So no, it's like much. so it's like do you have any respect for your viewership where, where it's at all? It's into... just like we're the Walking Dead, we're the biggest fucking show on TV. And we can gonna... do whatever we want to get and we'll we'll get the numbers yeah. either way. But so. I think what they decided to do is like they know at the very least they have to take one of those kind of core characters. And if they did that, I think they were scared to do it on the finale. I really do. Because they knew that they would have eight months off of people to just hate on whoever they picked. Because whether you pick Glenn or Daryl or any of those core expendables, whoever it might be, or Michonne... You're going to upset somebody. There's well, going to be a giant swath of the audience. Yeah. Those, yeah. those core characters have an insane amount of fan bases mm-hmm. into themselves. Oh. Yeah. And you're going to give people eight months to talk about that aspect of it? Better to have them talk about it being a cop-out, and then maybe we can re- redeem ourselves when we come mm-hmm. back. You know what I mean? But, hope. And, and, and unfortunately... Um, the show has gotten accused by people over mm-hmm. time of for killing off certain certain people because yeah. of race or because of whatever. Yeah, because well, when so you look at the numbers, when you it's look like, at like when you look at it, it's like, okay, you have fucking white characters, you got black characters, you got okay, Asian characters, orange. you got so you got Hispanic characters. Who, like, if that's yeah. the case, if they're afraid to kill someone off because of that reason, yeah. then you're left with like two white guys, and it's mm-hmm. like Rick and Daryl, and it's like those no, are the two main characters, too. and uh, Abraham and and Eugene. And no, then, and um. Impressions boy Fucking um, Oh Aaron but Aaron's there But he's gay So if, you if, can't kill him Exactly <laughs> He is gay but, so. this, but this is the thing About Negan That's so great In the comics Like he wrote it, He wrote this scene In the comics right Where Negan gets All these people Lined up on their knees In front of him And it's literally Very much the basic Same scene Where it's a black guy It's a white guy It's a Chinese guy It's a girl It's a kid And he's it's like, like a Hispanic So he girl. starts doing This eeny meeny Miny mo thing Because he can't Decide who to fucking kill uh-huh. He's only going to kill One person To make it all square again you know what I mean? So he does this whole eeny, meeny, my mo thing in a comic, but every time he fucking lands on Mo, it's a black guy or it's a, it's a Chinese guy. And he's mm. like, I can't kill a fucking black guy. And everyone's going to call me a fucking racist, right? So he's like, I'll start over. Oh, shit. And so then he gets the Chinese guy. He's like, what the fuck? This is the most diverse crew of people I've ever seen in my goddamn <laughs> life. And then he just goes, fuck it. And he kills Glenn anyway. Glenn's the Chinese guy, the Asian guy, right? I should say. I apologize. I'm pretty sure so, he's Chinese, suffice I'm, to I'm say. I'm pretty but, sure Glenn's not actually listening either. But. but you never no, know. He's dead. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> he's dead. Maybe. So. so, anyway, so that's what I thought they might do, but it might have been a little too on the nose yeah. for a TV show to uh. do, to kind of call themselves out like he mm-hmm. does in the comic. Like, in the comic, it kind of works better. That's one of, like, the best things <coughs> to me about, about Negan. Like, you, like you, normally, obviously, I mean, even though, like, you guys don't read comics as much, like, even in movies and TV, when you meet a, a villain or, like, a bad character... Yeah. They like there's not much to like about them, obviously. But like with this guy, he's so charming, he's so witty, and he's fucking hilarious. He's entertaining. That in like his own off way. the bat, when he literally, literally. No, <laughs> no pun intended, but I guess yeah. so. Um, you know, he fucking he just really charms me. He charmed me, and I yeah. like, he's like one of my favorite characters like of the guys whole book. You, you love because you love he does funny shit like that. Like that's funny. Like and uh, I think you know, like, he has a great. I mean, one of the things to look forward to is like down the line, he starts to have. You know, not to give it away for fans, but he starts to have an interaction with Carl to a degree. Right. That is one of the great things I look forward to in the show. Mm. But it's like, how are they going to fucking change that shit? So here's what I think. Here's a predict. Let's make a couple of quick predictions for how they'll come back next season. Okay. And we'll wrap this up. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to do the typical Walking Dead thing. They're going to come back. We're not going to even start out with that fucking scene. Mm-hmm. We're going to start out back at the fucking ranch with fucking Morgan and, and yeah. Carol because Carol's mm-hmm. all shot up in this other storyline. Exactly. And we're going to catch up with them. And then I think what we'll probably do is it'll probably fall to nighttime and we'll catch up with them all being at the showdown at the end of the episode, finally see who it is, and probably end up on just that. Yeah. Like, you'll wait all episode. that episode. Being, <clears throat> that being like the ending of, that, of the, the first episode of the season. Right. And then everybody will have just a week to fucking be all up in arms before it comes back. Right. But the, the fact that the producers are trying to say, well... You know, we left it as a cliffhanger like that because, like, who dies right now doesn't really matter because that death is the end of this chapter. And then who it is and the repercussions from losing that person is the next chapter. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, that is, like, the most fucking phony baloney yeah. fucking well, I mean, to, description, like, way to kind of soften it. I guess, like, when, when, you, when you listen to, like, all the people that are on the show, the actors and everything, mm-hmm. they, like, and you look at their reaction from when they were reading the, the finale script right. last year... Um, when they were filming it, right, they were all bugging out. Like they were, like there was one one of the actresses. She said that she fucking threw up after she read it. Yeah, who just happens to be her character's <clears throat> husband on the show, who I think it is Glenn. Right, right, right. Uh, and Maggie. Um, so 
Well, I think they've ratcheted Pe- people, it up people, someone through them too. Like, right. like they all. So for, for, what I'm trying to get at yeah. is that for for them to react as they did, yeah. you have to think that it's a main main character, and it, yeah. and it's not one of those secondary characters, which makes me sleep a little better. Well, I think the thing is that they even that they don't know who it is. The fact that they know it's like one of them, like yeah. you know what I mean, is enough for them to feel like all that that oh this is crazy this is nuts but like i feel like on the surface like on this show like you're getting that worked up about this like you've been through worse this is a cliffhanger where we don't find out yeah. who it is so yeah. unless you know who exactly who it is like how could you be that worked up and i mean i get that you know the ladies might get a little more worked up than the dudes yeah but there was a couple of dudes even daryl was like i cried kitten tears yeah greasy motorcycle kitten tears and then all my friends were like get a tattoo you'll feel better I get a vest that's got the sleeves ripped off. And don't put on any deodorant. And don't take a shower for seven months. And then, you know, well, you know. Exactly. Yeah, I get, get it. Get a crossbow and never re so, fucking load it. Who do you think it is? So I think, I think it's, it's Glenn, and or Abraham. Okay, I'll yeah. go with that also. Because I feel like Glenn's gonna take it. Abraham will get up to go fucking do some, and he'll get shot or popped. I feel like if they really want to make it last, I still feel this way. Because this is what I felt leading up to this. That he was going to take more than one person. Because it's like... I, I felt the same way. You know, I like, thought he wasn't going to be satisfied with one. Right. Because in the comic, they only take out a couple of his people. And so he's like, I just want one of yours for what mine killed. I'll be fair about yeah. it. I'll make it easy on you. I'll just take one of your people. You know what I mean? I'll make a scene and I'll make but a on the, point. on the show, they kill like... By the time they get to him... 70 to 100 fucking, people. You know what I mean? Like this, oh, yeah, so they kill like a group. whole like a whole camp of people. So he so. should want like revenge on all of them. He should yeah. be like, I got to take 10 of your guys. Yeah. You're, you're going home by yourself. You're the leader? All right, I'm sending you back alone. <laughs> exactly. You know, take, all right, take your kid with you. That's fine. Yeah. You know? I did like that little interaction with Carl though, real quick. Of course. Was, I was waiting for him to be like... Carl just lost his eye recently, so he's got the goofy patch on. And she was waiting for him to like peek it up and be like, "Let me put my finger in there and like, swirl, <laughs> swirl it around. What's going on in there?" Well, that's. Like, I mean, if you've read the comic, <laughs> that's kind of like from the happens. comic. That's kind of how it goes down. But it's not till much later in the book oh. and their relationship, anyway. Uh, sorry, uh, spoilers. But anyway, so that's kind of it. I mean, unless you got a little bit more on that, Dom. But I yeah, that's it for it. me. We're yeah. kind of um, run the gamut. So. Uh, what did we learn today? Did we learn anything on this, on this show today? Is there any lessons to be had? I learned that you two really like to talk about The Walking Dead. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> fair. That's yeah. fair. I think, um, um, yeah, that's probably about it. Yeah. I never learned anything, so. That's cool. That's, I'm not trying to, you know, that's, I'm hoping that someone of mine will learn something by accident, you know, trying to steal the old Opie and Anthony bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well... That's going to be Rapskis for us. I'm going to thank my buddy Mike. No problem. Thank you, Mike. And, no problem, and no hanging problem. out and having, having some chuckles with us. Yeah, a few little laughs here and there. You know, I hope you uh, wear that shirt when it gets cold and you think of us. I will. You cold? I mean? That's a summer shirt. Well, that's true. It's got no it's sleeves. That's true. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. Yeah. I did learn that uh, Harry's hard soda. Oh, yeah. Is damn Hard good. orange is no, damn Hard orange good. goes yeah. down not hard at all. No, nice yeah. and smooth. You know, you'd be hard pressed to even call this hard. Let me tell you. True. This is... This is because of the carbonation, it's actually lighter. It feels lighter than a real orange soda. Soda, you're 100 percent right. Scary, yeah. scary. Your kid would, your kids would just rock these back like no big deal. They're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dad, these are great. Yeah. Where'd oh, you get the orange soda? Yeah. Better than, than my You're like, dad, thumbs up on the Henrys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, sending us out, Dom. Where can people find you on the Twitter sphere? Find me on Twitter at dom underscore tory. Bob, where can they find you? Just yell it out. Bob at WTPC. We left him outside in the rain. Yeah. Uh, you can find me at Wicked Theory on Twitter. And don't forget to uh, follow that uh, Preach VS Preach account on Twitter. You can't find Mike anywhere. And no. Mike, Mike no. is not on. No. That's, that's what we learned today. Yes. That Mike is not on the fo- the Facebooks or the socials. That's no. good. I, uh, I I respect that. I wish, I wish I had that much self-respect uh, you know, uh, self-control self control control to uh, I guess, yeah. to not self-respect is fine too because sometimes yeah. it feels true, like true that i feel dirty but for I, coming I did, to facebook I, today yeah. <laughs> but yeah i have i have insane fomo as it is so i need to uh <laughs> fear, of, fear of missing out yeah. as they say dude i thought everyone knew what that was and then like i could say it to people nah. and they're all like what is that uh, like, you, what's you, fomo and it's you like, can't abbreviate it yet it's not that yeah, it's not that it's yeah. not like uh YOLO. Mm. YOLO. YOLO took over, took over the world. and Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. We, didn't and, we just get over the show. that? And the show. And, and the show. There's a YOLO reference. It's I went time two to... days without hearing someone say it. Now I fucking heard it again. And a uh, big fat YOLO to you at home. Bob, take us out.
It's always like, who's going to go first? <laughs>